<laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Cisco and Mike podcast. You know, today I'm wearing a little Mexican guayabera, and that's because we're celebrating the first female Mexican UFC women's fighter champion. From Guadalajara, Alexa From Guadalajara, Caso. Jalisco. Hell yeah. And that's three Mexican champs now. Yeah, in the last two, two months. Yep. So, so you know what the next event's going to be, right? It's going to be in Mexico. You know he has to do it down there. That'll be dope. Is all three all on the card? Yep. Oh, yeah, that'll be fucking dope. Yep. So I know you got a lot to say about the fights. You were like, oh, I want to oh, do, yeah. do that. I mean, first introduce our guest because I know he wants to talk about uh, oh, yeah, yeah. about the USC so, as well. Everybody out there owes us an apology, dog. Because some people said it was bullshit and we're like, oh, this was ain't going to be collabing with podcasts and doing this and doing that. Well, we are, and we got another podcaster from the ECMO pod. That's two out of three people now. So we got yeah. Joe in the house today oh, joining us. That's right, a fellow right. 66. We're, we're, we're repping uh, SGB. Ball and Park. We're Ball and Park, City exactly. Proud. Except he's a rival. Ball and Park. Oh, I'm, I'm a rival. Oh, because you, I went, we went to, to, we went to SB and you went to BP. We grew oh. up in the east side. We were. Yeah, uh, we grew up on the north side, side right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. North side. North side, BP. You think I better watch it? No, we're not gangbanging. No, no, no. We're not watching you fucking come after us. I got hair, homie. You guys had the hot. How the hot, all the hot girls, man. Oh shit! Yeah. I know how the hot guys too, man. <laughs> I saw you, you that. I saw you guys. Like, These are two hot guys. Oh yeah. We got But when we were in school, all the hot girls were at BP. Yeah. We we try to kick it at BP instead. Nah, BP, dude. The, the, no, the real hot girls were at North Park. North Park. Oh, North Park. North Park. They were having babies, and so you, you know they were fucking. <laughs> oh, and they were having babies. They were fucking, dog. So you know. You so that made them hot. Yeah, dude. Dude, who didn't want to fuck? No, I, I knew a girl that had two babies at fucking North Park. At North Park? Yeah, I was like, this bitch is fucking, dude. Uh, <laughs> she does not stop, dude. Fuck, like, just busting them. I, I don't know a girl that, like that. Uh, she's, <laughs> she's still fucking. She's, she's like, still having babies. Unless she passed away or something. <laughs> I know, right? I know. That. Yeah, and then you like got to told I knew, I knew a girl like that. that. No, I was about to say her name, but I was like, nah, I can't. <laughs> I, can't sure. I knew a girl like that. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, it made you rest in peace. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, nah. But anyway, we're talking about fucking murder here now. And shit. Yeah, nah, nah. let's get back to the UFC, dog. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> nah, I want to give her credit because uh, I know you had her down and fucking Saul had her down. You guys said, nah, she's not going to fucking do it. And I was like, duh, she got it, bro. She fucking got it. And I, I thought she was going to get her. Uh, I thought she was going to get beat up, dude. Me I thought too? she was going to get wrecked, man. First round, she won. Yeah, she won the first round. And then she was losing second. Second round. Third. And then fourth, she started losing. She was... Yeah. Because she kept... Uh, Shevchenko kept bringing her to the ground. Yeah. And I was like, fuck, man. But the girl's heavy. The girl yeah. was heavy compared to her. And when she jumped on that back... That's and it. I saw the fucking... The, the hand go underneath the, the, the chin. And I was like, oh, it's... Yeah. Well, whatever. She fucking jumped on her back and didn't let her go. Hey, and it's I couldn't squeeze, believe it. Just squeeze. I couldn't believe it. I, I was in shock when it happened. I was like, there's no way. As soon as she got the back, like a fucking ninja dude, wow, wow. And then she got her, and then I was like, no, she's gonna fucking tap. And then she tapped, and everybody was going crazy, dude. Yeah. yeah. Did, did you guys see the, the face after the stills, the photo stills? No. Of her face? Oh, yeah. Oh, you just see the white right here, and it's all red, fool. Oh, like, yeah. that's I all fucking her, hard. I, it was, she well, was she's being white up. as fuck, fool. She's fucking. And then, yeah, you could tell, you could tell she was red as fuck. She got the blush going on, or? Dude, oh. she was so hot. <laughs> it was crazy because I went to Buffalo Wild Wings to watch it. Yeah. And they sat us at a table with two other people that we didn't know. A couple, an older couple, white couple. Yeah. And um, so you guys were beefing it up, huh? No, it was they were cool. Buffalo wings. Like, it, it was. It, it felt weird because yeah. we started watching the fights, and like there was a. I think there was a, a white guy and a black guy at one point, and I was like, "Fuck!" I, I, I didn't remember the names. And this I said, "Buffalo Wild Wings is very multicultural, Doug." I know. <laughs> no, 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 no. They were fighting. They were fighting. Oh, okay. Oh. And so I turned to the white guy because we were shooting the shit. And he was, I was like, oh, the black guy's pretty good. And, he, and when he said black guy, I could tell he felt uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. He was like, oh, the, yeah, the black guy. The you know gentleman. Was, yeah. The, the darker <laughs> gentleman. Yes. The amount of, of color. <laughs> God, I was like, oh, the, black guy. <laughs> the complexion. <laughs> but I told him, I said, Shevchenko's going to go down. And he was like, bullshit. Yeah. He's like. Oh, right there, he stood up real tall. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that's my- you know, he was like, bullshit. I was like, I'll bet you shots that she that Shevchenko would fucking murder her. I was oh like, damn. Bro, like, like, he's a killer. <laughs> when she won, bro, I look yeah. at him, I was like, hey, what's up? But you know, he was racist. He says, so you want to shout Don Julio? Oh, I was like, oh my God. yeah, 1942, fool. Yeah, I said, dude. You, you want to be racist, dog? 1942, dog. B-dubs is a good spot to watch the fires, too. Yeah. I fucking hate B-dubs, man. Their I've only gone there. Fuck yeah. yeah. Whole, I haven't gone there in a long time. That's the only spot I died and dashed before, man. 
I dined next to that spot, and I felt good. And the guy was like looking for me afterwards. I was like, dude, dude. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they didn't even find you. And shit. They didn't even he's look, he looked outside. He was looking for me, and I just fucking drove off, baby. <laughs> did you Did you go to a lot of homies, or was it just you? Yeah, I went like five homies. I was trying to do the right thing. It was with five homies, and then they're like, man, this is bullshit. I'm out of here. And then two guys left, and then three guys left. And me and my homie were like, listen, dude, we're not we're not like these guys. These guys left. What a horrible <laughs> thing to do, right? We're better than these guys. And then me and my friend were like, wait. Does that mean we have to pay? Like, for their shit? And you're like, what the fuck? And we're like, what the fuck? And then we're just like, hey, maybe we should fucking leave. <laughs> and then we're, we just fucking left. And then, uh, and then we kind of felt bad. It was like 100 bucks, 150 bucks. But the service is bad. Yeah, they, stopped, nah. they stopped checking up on you. And we asked for a check. We're like, hey, brother, uh, we want to get the fuck out of here. Can you bring us our check? He's like, oh, no problem. Dude. I got you, right? And then uh, he just never came back. Yeah, so nah, I mean, well, he, he deserves what he gets. So, something like that happened to me when I was in high school. Yeah, I uh, because uh, I used to get in trouble all the time, right? Yeah, you're apparently, you still do, Doug. Nah, <laughs> you're a bad boy, dude. You're, 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 <laughs> you're a BB, dude. You're a bad boy. Yeah, nah, you're well, a bad hot boy, Doug. You're, <laughs> you're from SB, <laughs> what? bro. I've heard about guys like you. Oh, shit. Hey, stay away from me. Just stay wait, away from me. Hey, why'd you wink at me? What the fuck? <laughs> This guy's getting sexual, dog. No, 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 He's trying to wake up the carry weeks on me accidentally. I saw you. Oh, nah. <laughs> you lift your tongue, bro. Nah, nah, but nah. back in high school, uh, it was me and three other buddies. Yeah. We fucking, we were gonna, I, I don't know, if back then we used to get tickets to like the Jaleno show. Yeah. Or to the fucking Jay Leno? Oh. They used to give him out like on Jay Leno. I know Jay Leno too. You know my Spanglish, but it fucks up. And we said, fuck it, before we go to the show, let's go to Shakey's. Yeah. So let's go to the buffet. And we paid for it, right? But these fools were like, hey, fool, we're all going to walk out of here with a fucking plate full of shit. And I was like, oh, for real? So like, yeah. So everybody went and grabbed some plates. Yeah. And one by one, they, everybody started going. They would walk out fucking fast. Yeah. Fool, I go last. I come outside, and these fools are waiting for me. And they literally thought it was funny just to, like, about, I'm about to get in just to take off on me. Oh, no. And this is in Omani, so I, I'm pretty sure you're familiar with Omani. Yeah. Right there by the courthouse. By the tent? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm on probation, dog. Oh. For some other bullshit. I'm fucking literally outside. People are starting to yell, hey, come back, come back, come back. Yeah. And I'm like, you over fuck here, this. You, you, I throw the food. I was about to say, over here running, not trying to, trying nah, not to spill fool, a drumstick or something. Took I took off. I would have ate the food at least. I took off. I was pissed off at these fools, right? So, so two of those fools were not really my homies. Yeah. Except for one. Who's I considered a good friend, and sure enough, I guess they come back later. I'm at the bus stop, pissed off, dog, and I'm like, "Fuck, I'm gonna fuck these fools up." When I see them, yeah, they pull up and they, they try to tell me to get in, and I'm mad, and I I go up and I'm about to swing at the driver, and yeah. they just take off of me, and he brings out the mojos. I go home, I go home to BP, right? Walk all the way from fucking the Valley Mall all the way to Ramona, yeah, and. I'm mad. I'm like, you know what? I know. I know I'm not gonna say his name, but he knows who it is. I'm gonna say, I hope this motherfucker didn't go. I know he. He. he I know he's mad because the homies did that. Those are his homies, but he's cool. I know these fools didn't even go to the show because they had the tickets in the car. Yeah. Fool, I'm watching Jay Leno that night. <laughs> these motherfuckers are in the front. Oh they my, my god! Homie, dude. Dude. I was like. Motherfuckers, you know. But yeah. anyway, so that, that's that our fake daddy. homies, dude. That's yeah. fucked up, man. Yeah, I mean, like they should at least give you a slice of pizza for the walk home, dog. I know, nah. dude. You need some. That's some. You need some calories for that walk, dog. You need some cardio. You need we some energy, dude. <laughs> the shakies is amazing, bro. Oh, that bunch yeah. of lunch. Yep. Oh yeah. yeah. It's not as good as a uh, hometown buffet or Golden Corral, dude. Hey, they don't exist. Or the Corral's kind of nasty. What, dude? Hometown, yeah. d- hometown doesn't exist anymore, does it? What? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. whole time is a shit, bro. Where They're is like your... very exclusive now. Oh, dude, like, I, huh? the the fattest ass I've ever seen in my life is from like a in guy, a good way or in a bad way. In a good way, okay. a guy that worked at Home Time Buffet, dude. Wait, what? <laughs> he was, <laughs> a, he was <laughs> the guy who was like party of five, party of three. I would go there with my dad all the time, and I would always be like, "This guy's ass is fat, bro." <laughs> <laughs> He's got the tight khakis on him. He had the tight, and like he would, he would walk, and his butt would would jiggle. Like each cheek had its own rhythm, and I would always be like, "God, that's the fattest ass I've ever seen." I couldn't tell my dad because he's from Saint Law. He'd be like, "What the fuck, gay ass fool?" <laughs> hey, fool, but he's used to it. Doc BBLs all over Saint Law. Oh, does he? He probably felt what I felt. And I was feeling like, "Oh my god, that ass is amazing, dude." <laughs> he would always be like, "Party of five, party of five. and I was like, "Damn, party, party. of two, baby." <laughs> <laughs> party of two, behind you, man. God damn, dog. It's party of three, dog. I always love going to fucking hometown buffet just to see that guy, man. <laughs> <laughs> and then after once after a time, 
Yeah, I think he quit or got fired or got murdered or something. But he just stopped showing up. And I was like, this ain't this ain't this. Which which hometown was it? Oh, my to go check it out. Ask you for a friend. Which one is it, dude? <laughs> How long ago was it? Which, which, home, which it hometown, dog? <laughs> it was the one next to AMC 30. The one uh, okay, Covina. Uh, down Arrow Highway. Yeah, yeah, yeah Covina, Covina, Covina. Is that one still there? The hometown? I don't think it is. Damn, that's fucking I think sad. it's like the whole thing is now Sky Zone or some shit. Yeah? Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Sky Zone. I don't know what's But what that guy, man, she was, that's what, every time I think about hometown affair, I just think about those fucking ass cheeks, man. <laughs> and listen, man, it gets me emotional sometimes. <laughs> like, thinking about it, I do get emotional. I just fucking, this is the best ass I've ever seen in my life, dude. <laughs> and yeah, it is weird because it's, it's coming from a guy, like another guy. Another guy's ass made me feel a certain way, but I'm just being honest with you guys. Because at Eastmo, <laughs> we like to be honest. Yeah? We like to be vulnerable. And yeah, the best ass I've ever seen is by this fucking 32 year old guy. You knew he was 32. I, his, his, just, like his ass at it or what the fuck? The way like, he felt. It still didn't know. drop yet, dog. Is it like a little high, a little low yet? But uh, no, right in the middle. You know, you know when someone's a little older. I was, he was in his prime. Yeah, he was just, oh, dude, he was, he was in his prime. <laughs> he was in his prime. Forget the prime rib, <laughs> dog. <laughs> Rump roast. Rump roast. Rump roast. He had, I, dude. We were talking about assholes earlier. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. His yeah, asshole probably was fucking <laughs> probably huge. I probably put my whole head in that shit. Dude. It was ridiculously big. Oh, man, I should probably call him or something, dude. So I you find got his number? Nah, I wish, dude. I was 15. I didn't have a number. Oh, you called him Tom Buffet and I, I was like, where's that fat ass guy? Not, not a fat fool. Cause yeah, they're probably the yeah, other yeah. guy with the fat ass. And what's wrong with fat fools? No, I'm saying like, no. Nah, uh, right. I don't want them to think like fucking. He, I'm calling this fat. Like, <laughs> no, dude, right, this right. guy's got a fat ass. Dog. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Hey, by any chance, it's not that one guy that races the cars and shit. That How do you know him too? Ha- have you seen that guy that with the big old ass and shit? Do you know him? Uh, no, the one that runs behind the car is like he's all over like social media and YouTube oh, I don't and know. stuff. I've never seen this guy. Where he's before. racing like like a Lamborghini or something, right? Oh, oh shit! Bro, I've never seen like that. Fuck that! We gotta pull that I shit. See the girls up. with the fat asses on there, but I don't know about I don't know about the dude chasing no and, fucking. That's a thing now. You know, what? it's, it's socially appropriate to have a BBL. Oh, yeah, dude. I think it's always been appropriate in my eyes. Well, I mean, it's just more mainstream now. Everybody has it now. Everybody's had one, dude. I want to get accepted. a big dick, though, dude. <laughs> That's what I want to get into, man. I see guy like that. Yeah, guy had a big ass, BBL. I want to try to get bigger dicks, though, dude. Okay. Like, Fucking sticking out the bowls, wear some skinny jeans and shit. Like, yeah, yeah, some <laughs> I went to a, a gym in, I went to go gym in uh, West Hollywood. And it's the most fake dicks I've ever seen, man. Everybody <laughs> had like a fake dick. I don't know if it was fake, but everyone had like amazing asses. All the guys had like big plump asses. Their bulge was fucking huge. And I would just be working out next to some food. And he was like deadlifting. And I was like, dude, that's the biggest dick I've ever seen in my life, dude. <laughs> and, like they're wearing tights so you can see everything. And I'm just like, oh my God, dude. And everybody has that. Like it's like a competition. It's like a fucking zoo in there. Everybody's just fucking like, everybody's just fucking animals, dog. Is it, is it, is it like the like the fucking movie with Dodgeball? Respect, with all due respect. Huh? Is that the movie Dodgeball where he's fucking pumping? Oh, you do. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, <laughs> you haven't seen Dodgeball? <laughs> when the girl comes in, he's like, wait, wait, wait. And he starts pumping and his shit starts Bro, yeah, up. there's oh, like 15 dudes all have fucking just big ass bulges, dude. And big asses, man. And big fucking arms, which is impressive. Ass, too. Huh? Yeah, male or female, dude. Hmm? You know, I just admire. It's like, I, I used to gym a lot. But I still kind of do. So I admire like dudes' bodies or, or women's bodies. We got, we got to stop faking it, dog. Yeah, you, you guys are gay. Uh, uh, that's a, that's a, no, <laughs> check, check it. So, so, like, when you see a fucking someone working there, you're like, fuck, I want those fucking guns and shit. Yeah. You're checking them out, dude, technically. It's a work I of art. Know, nah. Hey, you, when you see someone that's, dude. Fool, you, you, you said shit. Damn, that was fucking yoked. You're checking them out. The fuck is me <laughs> saying that was yoked? Me checking you're looking him out. at his body. You're looking at his. You're looking at the veins. You're looking at his fucking <laughs> biceps. You're looking at the skin. You're looking, at the, you're looking at his complexion. You're looking at everything. You're checking out a guy, dude. You like man, dude. I don't like men. Nah, neither do I. I don't like men. <laughs> I don't like men. Nah, nah, we can but admire. I can appreciate. Yeah. When somebody's like, oh, that, that motherfucker's good. Yeah. I mean, women do it all the time, right? Oh, that yeah. girl's beautiful. Like, why can't we say it? Yeah, well, why can't we do it? Dude? No, I, I don't. I, I, well, there was a point You're getting really defensive probably... right now. No, huh? I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bop, 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 bop. What's oh, wrong with saying a guy has like a fucking beautiful, perfect, tight ass? Okay, I don't know about that and shit, but <laughs> that's just how I feel, though. Huh? And he gets me, dude. My man crushes the rock, though. Oh, well, okay. Well. <laughs> so, okay. Is that your past? Like, huh? if, if you could, you would? 
No, but I'm well, just saying, marry him, Dick. I'm just marrying well, him. If you could, if you would what? No, it, it, Make it, love it, to it, a man. Yeah, it, no. If, if the Rock would like that, that's your man crush. Well, no, fool. It's just like I had, like you know that fool's physique, six four. Okay. Fucking raising the well, eyebrow. There is. There, I've always said. I've always said this. <laughs> There's only one guy that I always thought was cute. That I was like, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. This will take us to a different level. I just said a macro thing. Yeah, like, he's kind of cute. This, like, this is horrible. Like, this is just... <laughs> 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 you're still fucking see right now. Fine. Memo Choa. Memo Choa. Memo Choa. He's fucking cute. With his curly hair? With his curly hair? He looks like a I feel uncomfortable right now, dude. That's it. Let's dig a little deeper. What is it? We were saying, oh, he's hot. He's dope. He's attractive. He's fucking attractive. But you said... Yeah, he's cute, cute, dude. That's what is my it? mom calls me cute, dude. What is, dude, dude, cute. What is it about Memo that you think is cute? I don't know. I think he looks like a fucking girl. Oh, wait. He's from fucking America. Dick, I don't know. It's when he runs the hair bouncing. What the fuck? Cute. Anyways. <laughs> that's, that's a interesting I'm choice of words. I'm being vulnerable right now. No, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He might, I don't know what he looks like. He might be adorable. He might be cute. You don't know Memo Choice? No, no, no. The goalie from Mexico. Remember the guy with the curly hair, though? The mean guy, where he, they say like he's like a saint and shit. Uh, oh no 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 no! I don't really watch. Uh, you watch oh, you only like combat role. sports, huh? Yeah, I don't. I'm not a. I used to be a basketball guy, but soccer. I, mean, I, I tried watching the World Cup. It wasn't my thing. You know huh? what I mean? The ball goes this way, and then it's like nothing happens. The ball goes this way, <laughs> the ball goes this way and there's like and the people start faking their injuries, and people get people fall down. Then do the do the. Nah, it hurts. Have you seen motherfuckers break the legs? Yeah, it's uh, like one out of like fifty. Yeah, one out of fifty. They're all doing that. Ah, right. You I, watch I, boxing. Yeah, no, nah, not really. Not really? I was going to say... I kind of watch MMA for the most part. Okay, what do you think of Jake Paul? I saw yeah. last. Huh? He, it, fool, that was fake. Come on, he's fighting perfectly. Well, but I'm saying he lost. But yeah, I know. He, he lost his first But What do you think about him being in the sport of, like... I think he's... Uh, I mean, he's, he, he's in his own lane. You know what I mean? I think he's doing his own thing. He's making a bunch of money, and he takes it seriously. But I don't think he's... He thinks he's going to go far. Right, he thinks yeah. he's gonna be like a world champion. Do you consider him a professional? No, uh, a professional boxer. It's weird. I don't know because he's making technically he is. He's making a living doing it. Right, he's boxing people. They're not. I mean, they get they get a they have a license. Technically, he is a professional boxer. Uh, actually, I don't think he has a license. I think what it is, it's an amateur. Oh, it's an exhibition. Yeah, because it's exhibition fights. <clears throat> they're exhibition fights. Mm -hmm. All of them, because every time they announce, they don't announce your professional, you know, oh, record. That's true. So his is just exhibitions. Damn, well, maybe he isn't, but I think, man, he's made a lot of, I think, I don't know how far he's going to go now that he lost. I feel like he might be like, okay, maybe I'm not that good at, as I think I am. Because yeah. everybody knows, like, okay, he's not going to make it far. He thinks he's going to be world champion, which you kind of need that if you're going to be in that, I feel like, in that field. Yeah. But I don't know if when he fights another boxer, he probably he's probably going to lose. I don't know if it's going to be worth his time anymore. Huh? Well, I, I, somebody was talking about that. I don't remember who on somebody's Fury, podcast. Fury's not a good boxer. No, no, no. But that's not that. They were, they were saying that this is probably good for him because <laughs> he's been fighting fucking nobodies, right? Or retired UFC or retired fighters. fighters. Old, old retired UFC fighters. Yeah, you know, fight Cyborg and, and, next and they're not, But they're not um, boxers. Yeah. And they're saying that his money comes from the hype. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the fact that he lost to a boxer, even though he sucks, right? He's not that the, one of the best boxers ever. That, that it's good for his business because then don't fuck with boxers no more because technically it's, it's the theory. Yeah. If you fight a boxer, you're gonna lose again, right? Yeah. You could make more money now with the like. For example, if I'm fucking a celebrity, and I used to be like, I want to fuck up Jake Paul because I hate that motherfucker, right? Yeah. If he beats a boxer. Then you're like, oh, fuck. Like, if he beat a boxer, then I'm not a boxer. He's going to fuck me up. Yeah. But if you lost to a boxer, then it gives me more like, oh, yeah, he ain't a fucking badass. Like yeah. you said he was. Now I want to fight him. And then more hype. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, but it gets old after a while. I don't want to see a bunch of, like. You don't. But <laughs> like his media, fucking followers yeah, do. He has millions and millions but, of followers. all that shit dies out, too. For at some point, they're going to be like, ah, this was whack. He's. Claiming all this, and well, he's right now he's making you know? the million. He's making well, right more now. than regular boxers. Yeah. Well, right now, but you know, all that shit dies out eventually. Yeah, yeah he's it's, gonna he's gonna keep on fighting YouTubers. I think. Yeah, yeah. He's and, just go and, back and to YouTubers. By the time it dies out, he's already made all his money. Yeah, so he's made so matter. much money. What's up, Jake? YouTuber, right here. Dude, I can see you boxing. Dude. <laughs> I, I was gonna ask you that. If you would box Jake Paul, yeah, you gonna box Jake Paul? Would Would you fight Shevchenko? Oh, oh. Would you go in the ring with her one round? I won't lie, though. She'll probably fuck me up. No, she will fuck you up, though. And she will fuck, fuck you. Know, you know she'll what? Fuck I'll, both of us. Up you know at what? The same I, time. You know what? I'll try to do. What's up? 
I don't even know, dog. Just try to ju- jump on her and fucking try. I don't know. Nah, dude, I'll just fucking call, break. call her cute, dog. <laughs> I'll be like, I'll just what's up, girl? Up if you call her cute, dude. <laughs> <laughs> then we'll stop fighting and we'll fucking embrace. <laughs> Nah, it, she, and Jaden White will like, fuck us up. People would always tell me, do you fucking fight Mike Tyson for like a million dollars? Dick, that fool will destroy you. I'll be like, dog, let's do it. Get in the ring. We touch gloves. I'm down. Dude, no. That's you know, it. You, got, you, got, you, I, you can throw hands, dude. You got that vibe. You <laughs> huh? give me that vibe. You I've can seen you throw hands. You can't throw hands. you never seen me throw hands. I've seen you throw hands. When? Fucking Alex. I was in sixth grade and I got I got fucking blindsided. Dick. He was smaller than you. <laughs> no, you didn't. You were face to face with him. I turned around and that fool swung. Bro, his technique now. Fool, I've on, seen the fucking shadow box. I've seen him. Was it one? I've only seen you in one fight against Alex Kuzman. Like you didn't see him in our hammer, dog. That's what I'm saying. His record out there is like two and five, bro. He's about to kill <laughs> He's amazing out there, dog. <laughs> For real, dog. Amateur hour, homie. Yeah. <laughs> you you give me like you got like. <laughs> I used to get down. Yeah, I used to get down. What's your record? I don't know. Oh, I can't be cocky. He's yeah. defeated, dog. <laughs> <laughs> like, Zero and thirty-five. I've got scars, though. I mean, oh, really? <laughs> but I got scars to prove it. I got. <laughs> no, I, I, there was one time I, I I was fighting this dude. It was crazy because I I started fighting yeah. people because I felt like I had to prove myself. And I remember one time I kicked it with a couple homies that were bad too. And there was this one dude that he was one year older than us. I think we were. I was a freshman and he was a sophomore. And I went up to say what's up to some of the homies. And that fool kind of like fucking laugh, laughed at me. Yeah. And I didn't like it. And I was like, what? Like, what the fuck? You know? Like, yeah. back then, I was like, whoa, what the fuck? And I remember walking home from school, me and my two buddies. And I had told them that there was this fool that kind of dissed me. Yeah. And sure enough, he's fucking walking with his girlfriend in front of us. Yeah. It's the same route. And then I, I tell the homies, like, hey, that's that fool right there. Now, we weren't going to jump him. But the homies were like, well, fucking do something about it, dog. What's up? Yeah. And I kept talking shit to him, and we were walking right behind him. And I was like, what's up, fool? What's up now, dog? Let's, yeah. let's go at it. And he just kept turning around and smiling. And his girl kept going, like, hey, let's go. And I didn't really want to fight him, though, because I don't know if you guys ever fought before. You you are scared because you don't want to get knocked out. You yeah. don't want to get fucking, uh, like, embarrassed. Yeah. And this fool was bigger than me. The fact that, that they, I was like, oh, he's a sophomore, so he probably knows more. Like, the, the stupid mentality, right? Yeah. He was in calculus, had a physics book. Some shit. He's probably, like, you know what I'm saying? He was a little bigger than That fool's me. calculating your punches. And I, was, like, I kept talking shit because the homies were there. But at the same time, I was scared. I was like, ah, oh, fuck. Like, but my adrenaline and my fear. And I was just like, okay, just don't let him fucking hit you. You hit him first. Yeah. And sure enough, I was walking behind him. And I kept talking shit, and one of the homies pushes me. Ooh. Pushes me, and I fucking bump into him. Yeah. And that's when he's like, turns around, and he goes, all right, fuck it. And he comes at me, and he does some fucking flying kick. Like some fucking <laughs> oh, kick. Oh, 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 oh. All I do is move to the side. No cauliflower I, ear, dog. And he's like, you're fucking shit. Yeah, Yo, bro. So he comes at me, and he fucking does his flying shit. And, like, I move to the side. That wasn't flying, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a little. Yeah, like, like, oh, I punch him. I punch him, right? Uh-huh. Right in the fucking side of the head. And he falls. And at this point, I'm like. All right, fuck it. I jump on top of him, right? Kind of like fucking Shevchenko was on top of Grasso. Yeah. And I'm fucking, he, he's face up, and I'm on top of him. I got him in full mount, and I'm fucking punching him in the fucking oh, face. Damn. But as I'm punching him, he's moving, so I won't hit him. Yeah. I would hit him some, and then some would, I would hit the ground. Oh, but man. I was fucking full of adrenaline. Yeah. So I broke my finger. Oh, what the fuck? That's how bad it was. And then all this shit was bloody. I whooped his ass, and then I saw, uh, a bus. You whooped your own ass, dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, no, but, but uh, a bus stopped yeah. to try to stop us, like a, a regular bus. And he's like, hey, I'm going to call the cops. And as I get up, this would tries to hold my leg to, to keep me there. Yeah. And I just fucking kick him in the side of the ribs. Oh, And I take off running. I'm without a shoe. And I'm like, oh, shit, I kept my shoe. Raul's running right behind me. Like, he fucked no, up. He won. He kept your shoe? That's no, no, no. Won, my, my homie got it. My homie got it. Nah, fool. They came back later. Dog. They were doing some Lorenda shit. Who does the shoe belong to? Let's find who it was. Damn, you're a fucking beast, dog. Nah, I mean, I'm not going to claim I was beast. Yeah. I just, I was always like the type that, like, what the fuck are you looking at? Like, yeah. it, it, it was, it's, it stems from. Like issues that you deal at home, yeah. you know it's that it's that stage where you're like, man, I don't give a fuck, I don't give a fuck about anybody. And dude, all, all my fights were in Mexico, man. In oh the, shit, in rancho, dude. that's hardcore though. I used to fucking get down back there, dude. But the fucked up thing that everybody that I got down with was my family, dude. And mm-hmm. I didn't even fucking know it, dude. And in rancho, dude, uh, it was a very small rancho, and everybody was like family, like cousins and uncles. But I didn't know, dude. I was I remember one time I was playing 
uh like pac-man or some shit right and my some some other fool was like hey, i want i want to play get over and i was like shut the fuck get the fuck i'm up <laughs> <laughs> i was playing in back of my my deals uh of my deal's like a uh, liquor store, uh-huh. and then he he pushed me out, and I was like, "Don't fucking push me!" And then we started wrestling on the fucking floor, dude, and we fucking started punching each other. And then I found out that that's my fucking cousin, dude. And I was like, "Oh, primo!" Okay. Yeah. I, I think we all do that though, right? Yeah, I know my cousins. I, I, I follow my cousins yeah. too. And then I broke into this one house. I broke into this one house, dude. <laughs> right? I broke into this one house. In the rancho? Yeah, in the rancho. And I was like, we need backup. And I called my brother. <laughs> my brother kicked the door open. And then we oh, started. Shit. Sh- my cousin stole a radio. I stole a saddle for some reason. And then <laughs> a saddle. Yeah, saddle, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking, I, I was, because I was riding horses back in the day. Oh, okay. And then we had donkeys and toros, dude. I was fucking riding all these shit. <laughs> so fuck your horse, homie. I'm yeah, taking your horse. I took a saddle. I was like, fuck yeah, dog. What do you call that? When you, when you steal a horse? Like, do you call it still G right? <laughs> Grand theft to fucking no, animal or shit? It's a yeah, it's a G yeah, ride on yeah, a horse. Yeah, Imagine, yeah. dude, you want a G ride on a horse? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> No, fool. <laughs> Wait, what? Don't make it sexual, dog. Well, I'm not I'm making it sexual. Horny, bro. You're horny, I'm just saying, horny what, like, I don't get what, why is it a G-Ride? That's what you call when you steal a car. Well, I'm sorry, he didn't grow up on the street. No, but, yeah, yeah. but it's not a car. Like, it's a horse, That's dog. What, but it what do you call it on a horse? Is it still a G-Ride? <laughs> it's riding a horse. He's a little small today. Yeah, you weren't born. You were yeah, it was a G ride, dude. Oh, okay. So I got out of there. I had my fucking saddles, dude. I had my fucking what is it? My lasso, dude. I was fucking like, a, I was <laughs> fucking ready fuck? to go, dude. And then my homie had stereos. And then my mom was like, "Did you break into the house?" I was like, "Yeah, I did. What's up, dog?" And she's like, "That's your tia." And I was like, "Oh, <laughs> oh shit, dude. I'm, I'm just buying it. I'll take it back to my house." <laughs> what, what, you, what were you fools fighting about? About fucking uh, a prima? Or what? You trying to holler at the same prima? Dude, back then, dude, I was fucking fighting for like anything for like a, a pandurus. I would fight over a pan dulce, dude, a fucking Mexican candy, anything, man, for fucking chickens. Chickens. Dude. <laughs> the real streets are Mexico, dude. Nah, fool, but yeah. hey, fights in Mexico are different than fights here. Kids, okay. kids are built different in Mexico, fool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, dude. I mean, those motherfuckers, I, when I was over there, I, when was the last time I was there? 2007? And uh, you got like five year olds that, like, que pendejo, que mira, estupido, and I'm like, I know, dude. Well, fuck yeah, so yeah, yeah, you know, macho yeah. like fucking yeah, <laughs> rear naked choker ass yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah, those people will fuck you up, dude. They're like driving cars too. I'm yeah. cussing you out, dude. I'm like, sorry, <laughs> yeah, sorry, <laughs> motherfucker. Get away. Fuck you, la verga. cabrón, faloso. I'm like, just I'm fucking sorry. I just wanted to where we're going, dude. Yeah, for real, they're fucking aggressive over there, huh? Yeah, dude. It's <laughs> cold for no fool, reason. It's like fuck. It's it's the mentality. They think they're not vulnerable, fool. See, that's why we're trying to create a safe space for you here. Well, no. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, no. <laughs> Out there, the, your parents will let you do whatever, man. Yeah. Oh, when I was over here, uh, when I li- when I lived out, my mom was tricked out here but in the rancho she was like dude get the fuck away from me right do your own thing and i was fucking riding horses i was riding bulls dude i was fucking like, I, was shooting bulls? Fuck? What the yeah. fuck? I rode a bull for 20 pesos dude 20 pesos my dad was like like a baby bull or like what yeah it was a baby or bull. a fake one like <laughs> a mechanical bull no, it was a real bull <laughs> no, mechanical bull no, no, this was taking his sexual game with the mechanical <laughs> no, bull and shit no i was just saying would like, you ride my pony or what the fuck the fuck the song bro no it was a real bull it was a real life bull i yeah i touched it it was a real right okay. it was real i'd make sure prefer everybody was riding bulls and my was dad was it fucking one full collar or was it like the black spots with the white was it a cow or a bull no it was no it was a bull it was like the baby bull like total 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 Horn, <laughs> the horn. Yeah, you customize the horn and shit. Like the horn horns or like the okay. What? Well, no, what other horn? <laughs> <laughs> the fucking, well, the horn. I don't know. It's it's like I want a unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> They're customizable, dude. Where I grew up, dude. But I was riding. Uh, we were with the homies, and then everybody was riding a toro. And then my dad was like, "All right, my son can ride a toro too, dog." Damn, he threw you out there. Yeah, he was like, Sinaloa, what about your fucking son? When I was like, okay, yeah. he was like, Joel, for the 20 pesos, ride this fucking horse. I was like, okay, papi, right? I rode that shit, and he was telling me how to how to grip it, right? And uh, I was I was like, there. And he was like, you got this, right? I was like, I got this. And he was like, and he was like I love you. <laughs> <laughs> He's saying his goodbye, and bro. I was, like, I was like, I love you too. You know that, right? And he was like, yeah, I'm proud of you. I was like, I'm proud of me too. And then fucking, he was like, all right, let him go. And then fucking, 
I just flew off, dude. I just landed on shit. I just landed on shit. I was like, oh my god, dude. But I wrote it for like two seconds, dude. Wrote that book for hey, two seconds. Hey, did that shit go slow motion when you're falling off? Yeah, dude. I was like, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> two, two seconds were like what, like two minutes? And you might fell like two minutes, dude. Yeah. And then I fucking landed on shit. I was like, puppy. I was like, that was my twenty best, dude. And then he, he looked all disappointed. Man. He's like, I'm not proud no more. Fuck. Nah, he was embarrassing <laughs> me, dude. Because everybody else was fucking writing like a. For like five, ten seconds, dude. But then from a rancho. Yeah. You know they do mean? that shit for fun every day, dog. Yeah, yeah, man. There was a lot, dude. In a rancho, there's a lot of things you do for fun. Like, I was, like, killing chickens for fun, dude. But we were eating them also. It yeah, wasn't yeah, just yeah. like, it was, it was, was like, yeah, we're just that, killing that's them. That's the like, life, shit. Yeah. That's the life. Yeah, man. Yeah, we just killed chickens. And then one time my dad brought this goat. And then I was like, that's a beautiful goat. And he's like, yeah, it's very beautiful. And I was like, yeah, it's beautiful. It's going to be delicious, too. And I was like, yeah, that's what he said. And I was like, what do you mean? He's like, you like this go? I was like, looking in the eye. I was like, I'm looking in the eye right now. And he was like, look at it harder. And I was like, okay. And then he just got a machete. He was like, oh, cut the head off. And I, was, I was like, oh, no. <laughs> and then he was like, he opened it, and he gave me the three paws, and I just had to clean out the three paws and shit. Those, those, those shit stink. Yeah, I was crying. I was crying. You, you know, you know, it's crazy, because I got a tío that... Like, I don't follow him. My dad follows him on Facebook because oh. that's, you know. Oh, that's how Mexicans do it. Mexicans, Mexicans do it now. They, they connect him. To what's up? Facebook and what's Facebook, up? Facebook, yeah. And what's up? Yeah. And this was posted a video of him skinning a fucking goat. Oh. And I'm like, who the fuck wants to watch this shit? <laughs> yeah. Like, this was like literally fucking all like, like he's smiling into the camera. I'm like. <laughs> His dad? They're probably fucking on a community or something. No, nah, man. I, I would I would watch that, bro. I can't do that shit. You know, they, no. well, we still do that shit. Yeah. What? Like in our ranch, remember the yeah, we, yeah, well, we yeah. killed the the toro actually. We killed the, the toro. Fuck is toro? F- yeah, they killed the toro and cut the meat. You're supposed to kill those dog. Hey, food, you ate a toro? Well, it's just like a fucking it's beef, pretty much. Technically, it's the same shit. I chip. guess. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get emotional right now. Dude. I mean, we probably eat fucking dog. If you got a TJ, you eat at, fucking dogs at, and the, shit. at the at the ranch, whatever. like the chivas and all that. That's yeah. what, when we've had parties at the ranch. That's what yeah, we well, yeah, but. That toro thing? Well, where do you think it comes from? Those are fucking beautiful, man. They're precious. Not that motherfucker. That motherfucker was tearing up a whole fucking ranch apart. That's what they do. <laughs> yeah. that's, their, that's their thing. That's well, their vibe. Probably, there's more, but it was delicious. I was saying that. Oh, you're a fucking <laughs> animal, dude. Yeah. You're a fucking savage. Yeah. You know what I do miss? I, 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 didn't ranch? I didn't kill it. I couldn't see that shit. I can't see that shit. That's for sure. You know what I miss from your ranch? What? The pajaretes. Ooh, what oh, is yeah. that? Oh, well, you never had that? I don't know. Maybe. What is that? So it's the, the, the way they do it, it's, I guess they get. Uh, like st- straight alcohol, huh? It's it's usually it's usually cow milk. Mm. Like you, you know, you gotta. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, you gotta milk oh, yeah. the cow. You know. Have you guys but, ever milk the cow? Uh, nah, I never fucking <laughs> milk the cow. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't trust yourself around that. that. No, we got we do it from cheetos, dog, not cows, dog. <laughs> I milk the cow. We we uh, really so we yeah. have goats. We do it from goats instead. Yeah. Cause the milk is just better. It's not as fucking yeah. fatty and shit as as cow milk. So, yeah, that sounds fucking nasty, huh? No, but it's, it's delicious, dude. Cowboy so, is amazing. And then you just get straight alcohol. Yeah. Like, it's like usually like a Mexican brand that's a no brand and shit, right? It's yeah. just like 100% proof and shit. You just put it in there and that's it. Huh? Oh, and a little bit but of they, hot chocolate. They, but no, but they, they light on chocolate. fire for a little bit. What the fuck? You tripping? I saw your fucking... <laughs> yeah, what the no? fuck? No. I don't know. It was I, a little on fire. I, I you got too drunk off two of them. Fucking, yeah, I was fucking pretty drunk. So you put like really? a little bit of chocolate? Hey, I never tried that. Yeah. Like the... Oh, well, like chocomil, chocomil, yeah. Really? It tastes like chocomil. Yeah. I wasn't drinking uh, at that time. But that shit fucks your stomach up after. Yeah. Oh, man. I got it. Oh, really? Uh, Dude. Hey, you know what they say, though? That, that goat milk? Right now, they were talking about that shit. It's like the Mexican Viagra, dog. That's why the people really? at the rancho, yeah. That's what all the dudes, that's my dad was drinking a lot of that shit, dude. I think I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> He's drinking way too much. No, of that for real, shit, for, that's what they say. They, oh, for, no. Supposedly, like you can ask, you can ask someone when mom comes, like she's like, you got, you want goat milk, and she's like, goat milk helps your vision, goat milk helps your bones, goat milk helps everything. I got burned in Mexico. Do you was burning plastic? I don't know why the fuck oh, I was burning plastic. No, because they burn it in the trash. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, was burning, I was like, it makes it fucking weird and lonely. It was burning plastic. I was burning <laughs> two little bottles of Coke. I was burning that shit. And that shit popped and exploded. It landed on my face, right? I always just started crying. And they just brought toothpaste and they got a toothbrush and started rubbing the fucking <laughs> And then they just started hurting a lot more, dude. Yeah. And my mom was like, it's going to heal. They killed that gingivitis, dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that shit for me. They ruined that shit for me. That's a bullshit and shit. Yeah, they started rubbing that shit and all it did was make it worse, dude. I'm surprised they didn't put savila. Nah, I don't That's think we, usually the thing they use for burns. They used to put manteca. 
What the fuck? Yeah, on burns? Yeah. Manteca. My mom, I don't know what the fuck. My mom used to the, Then they put the chicken. They just You're killed her with it. Stop. Will you fucking start smelling like manteca and shit? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Who's cooking bacon? <laughs> <laughs> no. I, they should, that that'll probably help us a lot more than toothpaste, dude. Yeah, no. Toothpaste, That's I think, weird. I never heard that red, no? Yeah she, yeah. she was just brushing my fuck face, it. dude. And that shit fucking hurt. <laughs> and she said it was going to help and heal a lot faster, but uh, I was just crying a lot more, dude. You know, there was a book that they used to sell on, you know, like the infomercials? Because it sucks to say this, but Latinos are, they're, uh, We're they're naive. Yeah. And and uh, people sell like that, like, Uña de Gato and all this bullshit. But, there was a book that had like a, a million secrets of like the Mexican, uh, use this type of toilet paper for this, use lemon to fucking cure yeah. fucking AIDS or something. I don't know. Wait, what would you use toilet paper besides? To... I don't know. I don't know. That's what the commercials used oh, to okay. say. The commercials used to like fucking say, papel higiénico de color nunca was And I was like, what the fuck? But, but that, that all comes from lack of education. Though. Like yeah. all, our, all our parents, our grandparents, they're all from ranchos, no education. Yeah. And it was just little things that they didn't have access to. And they're like, oh, that shit worked. Yeah. But did it really? You know what I'm saying? Mm, and and then, so. but then just because, you know, maybe it worked, it healed on its own and they put toothpaste on it. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, oh, that shit works. Why, right? That shit works. <laughs> <laughs> They'll use anything, man. Yeah. It was just like a little burn. And instead of like just letting it heal, like in a couple of days, oh, no, the toothpaste did yeah, it work. They put limon. My dad cut his finger off and they put limon on it. I was like, I don't think that's going to do it. You should go to the fucking hospital. <laughs> go to the fucking hospital. Yeah. He cut his hand open and he just put, started putting lemon in there. Like squeezing lemon, like, and he was like fucking like, <laughs> like a laughing. fucking shot. And he's, he's, he's fucking crazy, bro. He was crazy, man. But yeah, man, Rancho's wild, dude. Yeah, Rancho's wild. It's beautiful, yeah. man. Hell yeah. I'm still thinking about the fucking the milk and the cows, dude. You brought <laughs> I, you brought back some good memories, and that you were saying about it makes you horny. I was like, dude, my dad was probably hard. And horny the whole time hey, over don't, there. Dude. Don't get it to Don't taste my way there. <laughs> no, no, hey, no I like said Viagra. goat milk. When you drink it, it's uh, like Viagra. I'm not milking it. Because <laughs> no. you're going to have a goat in this backyard. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a goat and cows and shit. Dude, I, I don't know why. It was a beautiful experience just fucking milking a cow, dude. That's like one of my favorite uh, experiences about being Mexico, man. Yeah. All the all the, the older fools are just looking at you. Yeah, and you're just milking that shit. <laughs> and you got like you look back, your dad and like five other old dudes are just like. No, no, one of them's your uncle, dad. Shit. One of them's your <laughs> uncle. No, they're all my creepy uncle. They're all my fucking uncle, dude. I'm just milking that shit, and then we're all drinking together, dude. Wholesome, dude. So yeah. Everything slow motion. Everybody smiling. Every slow motion, dude. Smiling. There's like a fucking volcano up there in the background, dude. It was fucking amazing. El Popocatépetl. What the fuck? The the cow mooing. <laughs> so dehydrated and fucking skinny as were, fuck. Were you wearing boots? Like, were you wearing typical? I don't think I was wearing anything, dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, I probably was. No, I think it was. Like, Nothing like I natural like, feel, dude. I was naked. I was natural. Fuck it. Dude, we used to get naked a lot in the rancho. What the fuck? Anyways, uh. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a private community or but, some shit. But life in a rancho is a trip, dog. No, I you, mean, you, yeah. but you know what's funny? Like, like, you said something that's so true. Like, here, the parents are fucking strict or a certain way, right? Yeah. You go to Mexico, it's like, nah. Like, literally, that whole term, that way you learn or, you know, ah, por pendejo, you know? Yeah. It literally stems from over there. Like, you ride in the back of a truck. I remember one time, you know how, like, you could ride in the back of the trucks and it's a fucking... Well, you're not fu supposed to, it's off. Yeah. No, you can. It's not illegal. No, you can, but you're not supposed to. Well, my mom said, fucking, fucking get in the back and shit. There's a lot yeah. of freedom, though. It just feels, it feels like you're living. Yeah. yeah. Like you can do anything and silly shit like that, riding in the back of a truck. It's like, it just, it's some, it's, it's a small little thing, but it's just kind of like, you look back on those memories and be like, wow, oh, because you're not doing, no one's doing that. Here like, now. Like, yeah, I know. Fuck no, you can't. And then like, even falling, I fell off the truck and my mom was just like, Dang. por pendejo, agarrate. Like, you know, like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> How'd you fall off the truck? Because we're in the back, you know, you're sitting oh, on top oh, and yeah, there, yeah. there's no, where we're from, there's no roads. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's all like, fucking, oh, yeah, 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 it's all fucked up. And yeah, yeah. So you're falling and uh, what's my first time? Where the fuck do I hold on to, you know? Yeah. They told you to sit on the edge and shit. Yeah, you like pretty much. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 that shit was crazy. Huh? There's literally no road. Just rocks. Yeah. Just fucking. You, you ever gone <laughs> hunting over there? <laughs> huh? Have you ever gone hunting in Mexico? Iguanas. I shot, I shot a horse. What the, the fuck? Shit? What yeah. happened to him? He just ran away. So you shot him like, don't go puto. Fuck yeah, it. I just shot I had a BB gun and shit. Oh. Yeah, okay. I just shot that motherfucker, dude. And I wasn't supposed to because that was like our horse that we rode on. Yeah. So we had to walk back. So it died? Yeah. With a BB gun? Yeah. Where the fuck did you shoot it? In the heart. In the heart. Yeah. What, what the fucking... fuck? Yeah, good aim. That's a good ass. That's a good ass gun. They call me BB out there. Though. <laughs> <laughs> call me BB, dog. Nah, we, we we used to go when I was in when we when I went. Well, the last time I went was when I was twenty two, 
But when I was 12, my uncle took me to Mexico. Yeah. He he was my uh, uncle. Nah, nah. <laughs> 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 nah, nah. Like four of those, I, do, I do have a couple creepy uncles. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to um, be one. Nah, I'm <laughs> 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 you know, uh, my uncle, my mom's youngest brother. He was probably like 25 at the time. He told my mom, was like, hey, me lo puedo llevar? Because I'm the oldest. And my mom was like, yeah, fuck it, take him. And he took me. Don't and, bring him back. <laughs> nah, <laughs> boy, like, this fool was fucking, we're buying cantaritos at the plaza. And uh, he said, hey, fucking, we're going to go hunting. We're going to go hunting con las carabinas, which is like a, a musket, like an yeah. old school musket. And they don't give you the musket because you're younger. They take the muskets and you go on a big ass truck. It's like 30 of you in one fucking pickup. They have a big ass light. And basically we went hunting for uh, possums. Oh, really? You ever eat one of those? No. Tacuaches. In Michoacan, yeah. it's like you a... You eat those? Yeah. Well, in, in I don't know. I, 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 I had to eat it. Oh. In Michoacan, they do that. Like, my mom still says, like, oh, yeah, like this and that. Because supposedly they're cleaner over there. They're not eating shit like here or trash. Yeah, because you find them in the fields. Yeah, they're on the fields. So they're eating only, like... But you know how you hunt them, right? Shoot them? You, no, you don't shoot them. I never you do. Okay, so... Those. I went twice. So you what you do? Possum is... noises or no? You can make possum noises? No. <laughs> what the fuck? You for real? No, what no, noises are possum? I don't, I don't yeah. fucking know. Fool, you hunted it. And you go. <laughs> so oh, you they, do know? They hiss. Fool, they hiss. So like a snake. Kinda, yeah. You can make noises, snake noises too. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't make no fucking. Fuck this this is like a, that's like a little toy. <laughs> you can get every animal noise. Now do a cow. Fool, you fucking talented. Yeah, right. So we, <laughs> no, you are, dude. I don't fucking make noises, dog. You just made the the, the <laughs> scream, fucking what the fuck? We're gonna call you old Mike McDonald. <laughs> what else can you do? What, what other animal noises can you do? I can't do no fucking animal. I can't do no Don't be. Can you do a cat? Huh? I can't do no fucking cat. What about dog? Tampoco. You can do yes, a lot of things. You like that toy, Dick. Let me pull the string. <laughs> the cow says. You're being, you're being shy, dude. <laughs> nah, I need no, you I... to be vulnerable right now. Dude. I'm vulnerable. If you can do animal noises, you need to do them now, dude. I can't do them. Please. Can't. You can do a bear. I oh, that's I hard. Do a fucking bear. What bro. can you do? You can do a lion. You can do a lion? I can't can do no fucking. <laughs> can you do a lion? Fuck up. I can do no fuck. Dude. You, that's the energy you give off, though. You give off like lion. Like energy. a fucking lion? Yeah, dude, because you're a fucking king, dude. I would. Are you hitting on me? Yes. <laughs> uh, no, so so back to the what the fuck were we talking about? You were hissing. Yeah, we were, no, you were, so you were just going. Shut the fuck up. The way <laughs> you, you were. Hunt them is you get a big ass fucking uh, a big ass uh, uh, like light, uh. and you fucking basically you're scanning for them. You're like driving slow. You got yeah. like infrared or what? No, it's just so the light going cool, as soon as you <laughs> scan <laughs> for them. <laughs> and as soon as you see two little dots, you know that that's them, and they just stay there. Yeah. So you gotta get off, and you gotta beat them in the fucking head. Like you gotta beat them, <gasps> and they, gotta they don't sure they run. Beat. Holy shit! No, because they're there. They the light, oh, the keeps light them there, and them you run around, and then you just start fucking them up in the head. But you gotta <laughs> make sure they're dead because <laughs> that you just bite. shoot them. That, that, like shooting is more because humane. they're little, and if you shoot them, like. Then you're not gonna fucking eat no piece of meat. So you gotta know? fucking be like out fucking. No, you gotta. Yeah, you gotta fucking jump. You gotta go in their garden shit. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> fucking people's elbow. <laughs> hey, no, that explains the one time, dog. You were hun- you were hunting that one fool that was older than you, dog. You were coming up behind him and Who? shit. That one fool that did the flank kick, dog. Oh, what, no- what noise did you do to get his attention? <laughs> Who? The fool that you beat up. Fool. That you beat up. The one you, that you fucked up your I just your don't know, so, fool. You said, oh, that was insane. Oh, that that, that was insane. Oh, so, fool. Oh, oh, your voice got deeper. Dude. No, it changes. Are you getting into your animal moan? What up, fool? <laughs> oh, damn, dude. Fucking lying over here. <laughs> you are a lion, bro. You're fucking talented. You fucking with me. No, I'm saying if you can do animal noises, I can't do animal noises. I don't know where the fuck did, you got that from. You did two animals in one dog when you hissed. You said a snake and a possum. I didn't That's talented. I, I went. I was trying to. There was this guy man in college that he was an animal noise guy too, right? But he could never do uh, the snake and the possum one. And I always wanted him to do it. And he was like, dude, I fucking can't, dude. I was like, you've been, you've been doing this. You're going to school for this. You can't do this. He was like, I can't. This is like my. He was going to school to learn how to speak animal. Yeah. What the fuck? What, what, what's, what's that called? Or what the fuck? I, I don't know, but it was in USC or something, right? Oh, uh, at USC? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. So I was like, you can't do this. You're going to, you're t- what are you taking these classes for? He was yeah. like, dude, this, my dream is to do like a snake and a possum. And he's like, I don't know if that's even possible. And I was like, I don't think it's even possible too. But coming here now <laughs> and then meeting you and then seeing <laughs> and then seeing you 
and you just did a snake and a possum without even fucking trying. I've never seen <laughs> talent like this before. It just comes out. Though. Miracles do happen. Uh, yeah, I just come out. Right? So, <laughs> thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> now, if you could do it again, that would be great. Nah, it's just a one time thing, though. You should have caught that. <laughs> you, you gotta, watch, you you gotta, 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 you gotta watch the episode if you wanna hear me do it again. I can't. I don't even know how. I don't even know how the fuck you did it. <laughs> Sounds like he's fucking the cleaning the window and just. That's always skeet, skeet, skeet. I don't know how the fuck you did that. Dude. It's just comes natural, dog. It's like your 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 vocal cords are like fucking like four different things. <laughs> like dude. a little Jurassic Park. Like, yeah. Hey, that was that was Wait. your voice overreaction, huh? No. What the fuck? <laughs> I speak dinosaur. Not I don't speak dinosaur. I don't speak fucking dinosaur. Nah, I don't even fucking go there. <laughs> you were him, bro. You, you were him. You what? can speak dinosaur. I don't speak dinosaur. <laughs> Dude, come on. I don't speak you dinosaur. You can't say that and just not do it. You gotta. I don't speak dinosaur. You're the one that brought it up. Yeah, you, still, you speak dinosaur. You're the one that said I didn't fucking sound like that fool's <laughs> fucking flapping thing. I took, uh, I took uh, with paleontology class, right? And uh, the professor was like. <laughs> the professor was like. It, you know, we try to figure out how these dinosaurs make noises and how they speak, but it's like impossible. It's like can, there's nobody that can do it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's coming here today. What the fuck? And I told him, is there anybody that can do it? He's like, nobody can do di no one can speak dinosaur. And I was like, fuck, I wish someone could. And they coming here now and meeting you. You being the first person that can speak dinosaur. There's it. no way you can keep that from me. Speak dinosaur now. Let's go. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't speak dinosaur. Please, dude, you're holding. How, first of all, how the fuck do you know what dinosaurs sound like? For we seen Jurassic Park. Yeah, yeah. That's a fucking movie. How did they know? Like, oh, this is how oh. fucking. Okay, they don't know exactly. You know, <laughs> tell us how a dinosaur speaks. <laughs> that's a, yeah, that, that'll come tomorrow. I'll do a video on that shit tomorrow. Yeah. You're holding so much. He's so in. he's so like insecure right now. Dude. No, you know, my knowledge we, is this, too this, much for you this guys. Episode, It'll blow your mind. It'll you blow want, your mind. I want you to be look. This is a safe space, dog. We <laughs> talked about it before. <laughs> you missed it. You missed it. You missed it. <laughs> you, missed it. <laughs> you hungry, homie? Or? Right, hold on, hold on. What? <laughs> <laughs> that's, just me being, that's just me being actually hungry, you know so what, when, when, when you've been sleeping i've heard that dinosaur come out there yeah i do i fucking snore so dude i don't want to get emotional right now dude i got i kind of want to get can you clip that up and i gotta send it to that professor yes. <laughs> no because he <laughs> just did a pig <laughs> I just like, no, no, he no. just snorted <laughs> that's that's a triceratops you see that triceratops <laughs> You do triceratops? Nah, I don't like triceratops. <laughs> well, who's your favorite dinosaur? Uh, it's probably gonna be the T Rex. Oh, the T Rex. I, I, I did it. I did you it. Fucking like little arms and shit. Or? Yeah. No, imagine fool, if you were a T Rex and you couldn't wipe your ass. Like you took a shit and you had to wipe your you ass. No, for some reason this conversation always seems to go back to ass. <laughs> <laughs> He's a big fan of ass. <laughs> the toilet paper. No, he was talking about the toilet, toilet paper we're using for other things. Uh, <laughs> I'm more of a breast guy. I like breasts. Yeah. <laughs> He's so full. I like breasts. <laughs> I like breasts. <laughs> the fuck? No, breast I do guy. appreciate breasts more than uh, anus or for sure. uh, or uh, bottoms or what's another word for for ass? Culo. Culo. Yes, I do appreciate. I'm more of a culo guy than a breast individual. What do you prefer? Me too. You're a culo guy? More of an ass. Yeah. Culo. Say it. Fool. It's okay to say it. Ass. No, you got to be like... Culo. Be culo. Like, like, you got to be professional about it, dude. Yeah. What do you prefer? Gl Gluteus Maximus. Yes. That sounds like a Roman fucking... That was a dinosaur <laughs> sound. Fucking gla <laughs> gladiator part three. Well, imagine. <laughs> you could Gluteus Maximus. Too? No. Okay, I was about to say. You could do that. That that's, that's, your, that's your Roman name? I could Gluteus do Maximus. Warrior. No, I was kidding. You could <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? You could do that. Do I just this? <laughs> 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 oh, oh, this you might be the most talented guy in this part of uh, Irwindale. No, I, I didn't say it right. And now. that's not saying it's much. Huge, huge. <laughs> <laughs> we all might be the most talented people on this corner of we the might, street. We though. might be the only people <laughs> in yeah. this fucking city. Uh, <laughs> damn, bro. I, I'm not even fucking with anybody, dude. I've never heard anybody do dinosaur sounds. Me either, I, I didn't know this was. T Rex has always been the rah, 
uh, but that doesn't sound right. It gets old, right? It gets really old. Yeah, it gets old. They've been doing that since the nineties. So how would you? Let's see. How would you want T Rex to sound? I can't. I try. Like I, when I when I had that professor in USC before I transferred to NYU, like. <laughs> I uh we were taking this class and this professor like me and him would like he'd invite me over right like every like Tuesday I would go to his house and then like when his wife would go to sleep I would just go into his room and we would just chill and talk about dinosaurs and then like we would always just make noises he would always be like Rawr, and I would always, and I would be like Rawr, right yeah <laughs> we we're just trying to figure out like what the fuck does a T Rex sound like dude um but we can never really get it right because he would always be like Rawr, and then he'd like start doing this and did it again wait you missed it. You you just brought flashbacks, dog. Yeah, Why are you that. winking at me again? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you winking at me? This T-Rex is gay. This T-Rex is gay. It's a gay T-Rex. Why are you winking again, dog? Come on. You like this guy, huh? Not like that. This is a new... He would not be my type. I've known this guy for like since like fifth grade, and I've never seen the side of him. about that time for to come out yeah, yeah. No, no, no. you know he's nah. not your type you said huh you said he's not your type right he no nah, he wouldn't be no <laughs> okay. he wouldn't be so what is your type i told you i'm not gay but if i was to ever be with one person it'd be, it'd be memo memo yeah so i someone... say he's a medi- i love america i, I mean no, probably you don't know what that is. But. <laughs> He's a trumpet. A maga. He's wearing a maga. I love America. America's great again. America, the fucking soccer team. That's my favorite soccer team. Oh, oh yeah. So he was the goalie for that. Oh, yeah, he was, yeah, he was the goalie. Yeah. Damn, dude. So he he was always blocking, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 With his gloves and shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? Again. Yeah, Why are you I know you're trying to catch me, so. so. Oh, yeah. You're not gonna catch me, bro. I'm getting overwhelmed right now, dude. <laughs> dude, you just made a fucking T-Rex, dog, dude. Yeah. That's three times I gave it to you. Can you give me? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the way you ordered that. Yeah, yeah. The T-Rex sound, That's three bro. Three times I gave sound. it to you, baby. Can you do a Spinosaurus? A Spinosaurus? What the fuck is that? That might be a fake dinosaur. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Can you get? No, that's the one from Jurassic Park three. Oh, the, the one fuck? they make? Yeah, yeah. Spinosaurus. Mo- genetically modified. No, no, no Jurassic Park 3. Yeah. The original, not, not Jurassic oh. World. Jurassic Park 3. I don't even know what the fuck that you is. You've never seen Jurassic Park 3? I've seen it, but I don't know what the fuck a Spinosaurus it's is. It's the one with the big, long-ass fin. The one with the long arms. Not the T-Rex one. This is T-Rex right here. That's Jurassic call- World, isn't it? No, 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 no. Well, I think they, I, they did bring it back, but they... It's the one with the long-ass claws and shit. Yeah. He has long arms like a T-Rex, but he has long arms. Okay, what about Velociraptor? <laughs> Okay, yeah, Give I know. me with Lost oh, Raptor. No, I don't. I don't. It's a work in progress. You're still working on it. Yeah, yeah. There's too many of them. I got to do blue and fucking. Oh, what is can it? You, you can do blue? No, I, I mean, I'm saying you have to learn all, all oh, four yeah, of them. Because there's four now, of them. Now right? you're dropping colors on this day? No, no that's the fucking orange, blue. blue. That's, that's, that's the fucking blue. <laughs> <Raptor. laughs> there's yellow, there's green. What, what are they? <laughs> Anyways, there's blue and what the fuck are the other names? That's it. Yeah, I think it might be it. But they're really, yeah. Dude, I love dinosaurs. I'm telling you. I just love dinosaurs. I went to school for... Well, I didn't go to school for that, but I did take a bunch of classes on dinosaurs, dude. Okay. What's your favorite dinosaur again? I think probably, dude. Uh, probably the one that goes... That one? <laughs> that one. <laughs> See, I can't do it. The one that spits fucking... That uh, acid or whatever. Acid, yeah. Yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. That's, okay. That's something that I like to do. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> so it's kind of like... It reminds me of me kind of thing. <laughs> but you don't spit it. You digest it, right? What? Acid? Acid. Acid. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> so, taking him back to those Tuesday nights with his oh, professor. Nice. I'm telling you, his, he had a nice house, dude. Like, he took his shirt off one time, and I just felt like, what does that have to do with, like, dinosaurs, right? Yeah. And he was like, dinosaurs don't wear clothes. And I was like, well, okay, I guess you got a point. Should I get naked, too? And he was like, yeah, take your shirt off. I was like, okay. And I took my shirt off. And then we were just both like shirtless. And his wife got, in, got up and he's, What are you guys doing? And we were like, Nothing. Right? Yeah. And then, like, she was like, Are you guys learning about dinosaurs? And we we're like, Yeah. And then she's just like, Can I join? And I was like, Of course. And then she just started making dinosaur noise with us. And then we all just kind of got like naked and shit. <laughs> yeah, we gotta, we gotta take it back because it's getting a little <laughs> too. These dinosaurs didn't have tails, though, Doc. Hmm. <laughs> 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 I'm just, I'm just in my mind. I'm just 
I'm just going back to I, I don't feel like I'm in a safe space anymore, to be honest with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not me. I didn't bring the dinosaurs up, dude. Fuck, if you want these dark stories, <laughs> don't bring up dinosaurs, dog. Uh, Whew. We just went through a journey, dude. But I appreciate you and the noises you shared with us, man. Uh, can you? You can't do it. I noises. can't do any of that shit. I, uh, you got to teach me. It's unteachable, fool. Oh, damn, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. You're born with that shit. Oh, no, so you were born. You came out of, like, your mom just hissing and... No. Nah. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck you say? I came out of my mom's pussy. Yeah, I came out <laughs> I wasn't going to say that. I was going to say, you just got it. Well, then you just came out of your mom. No, I don't know. That. Like, well, where, where else would you come out of? What if she laid an egg? I don't know, fool. You're coming what up with all these fuck? noises, wait, fool. Wait, wait. Like, I'm What if you're a dinosaur? My mom's just I know. He's saying my mom laid an egg, dog. Bro, you're a dinosaur? I don't know. <laughs> I guess. This fucking... Dude, I didn't even think about it like that. Dude. <laughs> but that makes perfect fucking sense. <laughs> what it... Oh, my God. I don't I mean, you're not I don't gonna have be. motherfuckers fucking coming up with the memes and the dinosaurs. No, the fuck out. He said that you are a fucking dinosaur, and I think, what if you are a dinosaur? That's Mike why you can make the dinosaur noise Mike so Asaurus. good. My... <laughs> Michael Soros, dude. I gotta call my I gotta call my professor after this, bro. I gotta send a picture of me, dog. Like this is a fucking new breed of dinosaur, dude. Uh, these motherfuckers. We're fucking up, dog, because they're gonna experiment on you and start checking you and nah, yeah, which you having to be fuck. experimental? No, no? Nah. dude, you could fucking you could bring but, dinosaurs back, wait. dude. You could use your sperm and just fucking use that as a as a. Because <laughs> this is Jurassic Park, they get like a fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. they get like the the, the mosquito blood. blood. Yeah, the blood. But nowadays, uh, that doesn't work anymore. We need sperm. Okay. Plus, you said you did like experimenting, so. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about shit that we're talking about podcast food, so. Oh, yeah, that's private. That's, that's private. So that's, Hit up the that, Patreon for that. Yeah, Patreon, Patreon. <laughs> Patreon, Patreon, Patreon. Oh, um, man, no, but this has been funny. Though. But I know you want, really wanted to talk about a couple of things. Cause, no, we can talk about whatever, dude. No, because, because we want to, like, highlight the fact that you're also... In the podcast game, you're also a creator. Yeah. You do film, you do photos and all that shit. Yeah. So maybe you could take some of that experience and start like documenting this shit. You if know? I can film you laying an egg <laughs> and I can like do my stuff to it, like we'll light it, we'll get a crew. If I can film you laying an egg, that'd be great. And we'll get like a slow mo shot of the egg coming out and hatching and like a little mic. A little sassy title story coming out of you. He breaks the egg and he's like, "Bro, is that amazing? Dude, this guy's this guy's a director. He thought of an idea. Holy shit! I got dude. you, I got Oh you. my god, dude! <laughs> I'm getting, I don't I don't want to start crying right now, dude. Because I'm getting fucking emotional just thinking about that, dude. Oh, my god, dude. oh shit! No, but yes, but... I am a I am Latino and I am a podcaster. I guess now I don't know. I, 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 guess, I, I guess I am a podcaster. Kind of, that sounds weird to say. It's such a new thing. I joined like a, a couple months ago, and before that, you know, I owe it all to Gerardo because uh, he's the one that got me on into podcasting. Because he's had podcasts with other people, and I've always kind of always invited me on. So I kind of owe it all to Gerardo. Gerardo's a good guy. That interview you had with him, legendary. Yeah, yeah, do yeah, that. Definitely, yeah. No, these have been fun, man. Even with you, this has been fucking hilarious. I haven't laughed like this in a long time. So. Yeah, it got it went down a weird path. <laughs> <laughs> Most definitely, man. It went down a weird path, man. Uh, how, oh, sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. I was, no, I was, I was gonna ask you, like, how did you feel when you're like, so you were hesitant at first, right? You were like, I don't want to do that. Yeah, I was very well, just to go on the podcast. Yeah, yeah, just to actually start doing it. I was very hesitant at first because my goal in like the, my creative field is to be a uh, director of photography, a uh, cinematographer. So I was like, uh, I was like, I don't think that's a good idea for me to be on a podcast, a uh, comedy podcast, and also try to have this professional life on the side because mm-hmm. that's my main thing, right? Mm-hmm. But after a while, I was like, uh, I was just like, why not? Why not just do it? You know what I mean? Why not just have fun? Because I do enjoy all these things. So why not do them? I've never seen a cinematographer have a comedy podcast. But why not I be the one to do it? Not that I'm breaking new ground. I'm just saying, like, why not just just do it? And I started doing it, and it's been fucking fun as shit. Um, and some people kind of look at it like, are you a podcaster? Do you not do video stuff? And I was like, no, I still do it. I, that's my main thing. But I think I've, I've been able to find the balance of doing both. Because, like, obviously when you're creating, 
it's not maybe the environment to be being a silly goose or being fucking yeah. around. It's like we got to create, got to be artistic, whatever. But then there's this side with podcasting. You get to fucking talk about dinosaurs and shit. Yeah, yeah. Like 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> if you lay an egg, I'm telling you, if you lay an egg and let me film it, dude. <laughs> Cin- cinematography magic, dude. That's beautiful magic, dude. And you can direct it. Gotcha. Exactly. So, so podcasting has helped you just be who you want to be. Or yeah. it lets it just, you showcase it, who you are. Yeah, it's just a different side of me. Okay. I've, I've, uh, ha, has it helped you like behind the scenes too like, like i feel like i don't know being in front of the camera kind of changes uh, the look of it when you're behind it too mm. i don't know if that makes sense mm. like like i tell our audio guy we're gonna try to get them involved and you know he's audio so he's always fixing the mics but when he had the mic on him for the first time he had to like wait over, you know what oh, i'm yeah. saying so it was different yeah so it's completely different being in front of it and behind it has it helped you in any way yeah i think so especially well at first you just being in front of it it was very, uh, it's very hard to get used to in the beginning, because obviously I'm, most of my time is behind the camera, and uh, I, I realized that I became more of an introvert for the last couple of years because I've just been behind the camera so much and having to just work with people, but it's always like behind the camera or some shit. I didn't realize how like shy I was. I'm still kind of a shy dude, but like, I feel like me being in front of the camera just as a person it makes allows me to just get comfortable being myself and shit so I, that kind of translates to other areas or i can talk to people a little bit more openly and without like being so reserved just in a sense of like i could be myself a little bit more mm-hmm. you know what i mean um and behind the camera uh maybe i don't know i haven't thought i haven't thought about it like that you're fucking hey you the way you think this guy thinks like outside the box dude i go deep and not there, Mike. Don't, uh, don't <laughs> wink at me and shit fuck no that. fucking winks <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah you're a deep thinker man this is what, this is what I felt. I felt about you when I first Don't saw you. Don't give too many fucking props. No, 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 no. See, he's getting jealous. He's, no, no. He's getting no, no. I'm not your type, fool. Come out I'm with not a fucking little uh, fucking. I'm not. Here, I, I'm not your type anyway. I'm not your type anyway, dog. So just. What the fuck? Yeah, what the fuck? Why is he not your type? <laughs> I'm not gay. First of all, nothing against gay people. Well, that's my homie. It's like fuck that. If I if I if I ever does. Like, <laughs> what, what's your type? What's your type? In what? Man, you know the Rock. Oh yeah, the rock. <laughs> Why do you get mad for? Cause you don't look like the rock. <laughs> he gets up, he, likes to get mad he, t- he tosses his ball. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, you look like the rock. Dude. Oh shit. Bro, you talk like the rock, bro. <laughs> your like vocal cords are incredible. You just sound like the rock right now. Help you smell. Like, hey, <laughs> you know what? Do a rock promo. Do a rock promo. Help you smell. No, you gotta say finally. No. <laughs> <laughs> this one, this one liking it. Like Finally. It. No, wait, nah, nah. I can't do that one. I can't do that one. I can do Terramana. Terramana. You're going to try my Terramana. His tequila? Uh, hey, for, you know what? For That's some reason, Robert I just Downs became a Don Julio guy. That's the Robert Down syndrome. Down you know what? You got a little bit of Vin Diesel in you, too, dog. Oh, you <laughs> fuck Bro, you give me Vin Diesel vibes, dude. When I saw you, I was like, hey, Vin. I mean, uh, I, was like, I kind of confused him for Vin Diesel. Bro. Mike Diesel. No, Mike no. Diesel. <laughs> oh, that sounds kind of... <laughs> that sounds like a porno name and shit, right? Like, I'm, I'm in a porno, Mike Diesel. You've done porn? No. Nah. Dinosaur point with the noise. You born as a dinosaur laying an egg this on a woman? woman bro. The dinosaur. <laughs> dude, I can't get this over it. This is kinky shit on. Instead no, of golden dude. showers, you're over here fucking breaking eggs. Dude. I, I'm just an artist. Dude. We're just artists. We're, yeah. trying to hear, we're here trying to create magic. I'm sure there's some people out there that are into like dinosaur sex or some shit. Oh, <laughs> like kinky play. I'm not, dude. Dinosaurs are not my type. They're not my type. Is it an episode of Entourage where fucking they make a turtle? They want some girl wants to fuck him in a bunny suit. Oh, I've seen that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's like, no, I can't do it. I couldn't get it up. And then fucking um, that fool's brother, Vince's brother, ex ends up fucking her at the end of the show. Was it Johnny or drama? Yeah, drama. Jo- Johnny drama. He puts on the suit and he's fucking her and he's fucking yeah. holding on to the bunny ears. It's funny. I like that. I like that. I seen a lot. What do they call those flurries, right? Yeah, furries. Yeah. What do you mean? People that like to fucking like in bunny suits. Yeah. Well, not bunny suits. Or bunny suits. Yeah. Just bunny suits. Yeah. In general, yeah. it's an actual thing. This is like costume, like fucking Disney costumes. But but it's an actual thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a king, dude. You gotta wow. get into it, dude. I can just see like there's that. fucking people in Japan that like to be treated like babies. They dress like a giant baby, and there's there's like. Houses like that. In we, we, we've never been to Japan. Yeah. Like, yeah. Also, I, I, uh, there was this guy. This documentary advice. This guy told me that he went to Japan 
and he got a massage there, right? Oh, that's right. And then like he started getting like a hand job, and then he said that blowjob, oh, blowjob, blow blow yeah. And then he said that he started getting his ass ate. Really? What, 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 what did he do? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. He wanna. He, well, actually, actually, I'll finish the story. He said that he enjoyed it. Oh, that's right. That's this fucking is, crazy. Who the fuck is this bato? <laughs> I don't know how many fools from the six to six have been to Japan. <laughs> one person in the six to six has been to Japan, dude. Oh, 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 you, don't, yeah. you don't know that many people. In you the can go back a couple episodes and hear all the stories from Japan about the one person that's been there. With, I've never been to Japan. I've never been to Japan. No one here has been to Japan. I've never been to Japan town here in LA. I know Japan was a country. I don't know what the fuck that was. I was like, Yapai, yeah, what the fuck is that? <laughs> There's only one person that I know that's been to Japan. I don't know. I don't know who you guys are talking about, but that's that sounds like a. Interesting man. <laughs> <laughs> he is. He makes dinosaur noises too. Very interesting. He looks like the rock. Nah, he looks like <laughs> <laughs> the rock Vin Diesel. Makes you give, like, uh, You're like the rock, rock and vibes. rock and Vin, you know, smashed and had you fool. <laughs> <laughs> they laid an egg and you came out right. <laughs> I'm being serious, man. Oh man, this is fucking funny. Yeah, like <laughs> you, I, I just, I'm not gonna say I'm in love with you, but it might be too far, but I do love you a lot. Have you had those glutes though? The what? Those glutes? No if you would have had that gluteus you have no ass? No. I had no ass like that. Like when I was skinnier, yeah, yeah, but now I've been told my Did ass. Did you ever work like, at Home Depot? Oh, yeah. I mean, at Home Depot, at uh, Home, Home Town Buffet? Home, <laughs> Home Town Buffet? Wait, you were... Nah, I never worked at Home Town Buffet. <laughs> never worked at Home Town Buffet. Wait, let me see your ass real quick. Oh gosh. I don't know if he's dead or anything, but I would I just need to see the ass one more time. And if it's you, if you're the guy with the ass, it's not me. And if you're holding that if you're hiding that from me, I'm not gonna appreciate that a lot. I've never fucking worked at a hometown buffet. I've been there, but I never fucking worked there. Are you sure? Not even for a week, for two weeks. Hundred percent. Not even for two hours. You're not for two hours. Not even for thirty seconds, Ta. What about twenty seconds? Never. What about for two? Okay, let you know that I never worked at hometown buffet. Okay, good. Okay, I was about to say I was getting robbed up on the You better stand up. Okay, cool, man. You know, it's funny because we were talking about earlier. You know, obviously you have this different personality. You said from being introverted to now, you know, like you like to be yourself. You say you don't like. Stand up comedy, and that's something that you wouldn't want to do. But, I would never do but obviously, man, your personality just shows that you know that you want to just let loose and yeah. And I think this is the way to do it, like being a podcaster, being on a podcast, or doing shows. Because stand up is a is a whole different, it's a way different lane. Like it's still about being funny, but it's horrible, dude. Like just starting off, it's horrible. It's fucking like I told you earlier. The open mic scene is sad. It's lonely. It's fucking depressing. <laughs> fucking people bombing over and over again. People just miserable. Ah, oh, it's just and like open mics are a lot of times like in some random ass corner of a restaurant, and then it's just a sad scene, dude. And I wouldn't want to do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I love stand. I have a passion for stand up, but as a consumer, as watching it, I love being in the community. But as as far as doing it. <laughs> Nah, man. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. So you feel this is more your space, kind of, yeah, like, the cameras dude. and... Yeah, doing stand-up is like, dude, it's like... I don't know what the good analogy is, but it's kind of like... It's kind of like being like, hey, I, I want to... It's like you're learning something in front of people, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, hey, go on that stage and fucking play me a song on the guitar, bro. Hell yeah. And you're like, I've never fucking played the guitar, touch a guitar. He's like, dude, you better go up there and play the best song you've ever fucking played in front of 35 or a fucking bunch of people. And you're like, I've never fucking played the guitar, homie. So you're up there and you're like fucking hitting all these weird ass notes, eh, right? The horrible fucking guitar. And everybody's like, bro, what? What are you doing, bro? People are booing you. I did it. I did stand up seven times or eight times, right? Like five years ago, dude. And bombing is the worst thing ever, dude. Yeah. Especially, you go up there and you think, like, you got these funny-ass jokes, dude, and nothing's hitting, and it gets quiet, it's cold, and then people in front of you are like, what? what? No, no, this guy in front of me was just like, oh, he was putting his head down like this because he was so embarrassed for me, and you got to go through that a lot, dude. There's yeah. no way around it to get good at stand-up because I see a lot of stand-up comedy. I see a lot of it, just, like, all levels, too. I'm, like, 
I watch like the because I'm I work with a lot of comedians, so I get to see like the higher elite level and then like the fucking starting off open mic scene, open micers and like the mid middle level. So I get to see all ranges of comedy. Um, but there's no way around like the fucking bombing eating shit that on stage. Curve. Yeah, there's no way around it. There's no way around it. But I think that some comedians, like from what I've seen, once they make it a little big, they forget the the the, the root of like what's fucking funny. Yeah. Because someone because they're already big, they just like go out there and who's just like, Oh, I was fucking blah blah blah. Uh, and then yeah. people are laughing because obviously they know him yeah. or know her. And it's like that shit wasn't even funny. Like yeah. what the fuck? Yeah. So I think that maybe at the beginning it's hard, the hardest. And I, I'm only I'm only speaking from the outside and from what you're telling me. Yeah. But I think at the middle ground is probably where your best comedy comes from. That's what I was gonna tell you because we've talked about this before. Yeah. Like a lot of like once I think once you make it big, people just go for the name and laugh because they already know. Yeah. You know what I mean? And exactly, I think, and this is no offense to anybody because we I love comedy, stand up comedy, yeah. and I love the comedians and you know they're freaking hilarious, but. Most of the material, say it's an hour long show, I think about maybe 25 to 30 percent is actually fucking gonna make me bust up. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, and and I get it, you're storytelling, you're building and you're building and you're building, so that's what's dope about it. But yeah, definitely, I agree with you. It's, it's at some point, it's just the name or yeah. the joke you already know. Yeah, and sometimes, like when they get really popular, really uh, famous, and have a lot of money, a lot of money, they kind of lose their like relatability. Mm-hmm. Like they'll be talking about stuff that's like private jets or just shit that you just the average exactly. person is like, okay, exactly. what? How is that? How how do I relate to that at all? Yeah. You know, you never been in a private jet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, <he's listening. laughs> yeah. You guys haven't been in a private jet. I haven't. I don't ball like that. Really? Yeah. The Rock does. <laughs> and Vin. I just look like The Rock. Yeah, right. I don't look. I don't fucking you look do, like The Rock. You, I would say you, you look, look like this motherfucker. No, I do not look like The Rock. You, I just fuck with you. you. Never there fit. is one picture where I look like The Rock, uh-huh. where I was skinnier. Yeah. And I will say that. I'll post it, and you guys fucking tell me. You, I will post it. I don't want to backpedal, but you never finished that chant of The Rock. That you, what? The little the impersonation. <laughs> yeah, the promo. You never finished The Rock promo. I, I can't. I can't do it. Listen, were you a wrestling fan? Uh. Oh, he does, nah. that. He does <laughs> that. No, they did that to him, actually. <laughs> <laughs> because the rock promo you were doing earlier was good, but like we said, it kind of sounded like the rock with a lot of you know, yeah. mental disabilities. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's not how the rock sound. Yeah. But if you want to do it again, try nah, it. I can't do it. I just, it was a one time thing. Bro, your confidence was fucking strong. It was, but I mean, it is, but I just, I know that I can. Me? Let's see. I, I, He's more of a Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold. Uh, let me see. What is the what does Stone Cold do, man? Hell yeah. And hell that's yeah. the bottom yeah. line. Yeah. Bitch ass motherfucker. That sounds like Booker T, dog. Yeah. That's not like Oh, man. people uh, used to tell me I look like Booker T. Booker T? I see it. Yeah. And they said Ice Cube, too. Ice Cube? Yeah. Okay. And then uh, one of them, one of them, I told him, I said, I'm not even black. And they're like, you're not? I was like, no. Right? And then they're so like, it's oh. not the color of your skin. It's yeah. the way you think. That's what I'm think. saying, dude. What, what, is, what does Miklo say? It's, it's Use like, this. No, but he goes, <laughs> <laughs> I'm Chicano to the bone, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah, He's yeah, white yeah. as fuck. Okay. Like, yeah, oh, dude. That's, so it's not about the color of your skin, dog. Well, it's that's like what you they're like, it's more of an energy thing. Like, yeah. you give off Ice Cube vibes, right? Yeah. And they're like, Booker T. And on Booker T, there's a lot of like, what does he do? He does no, this. Does that thing? I don't know if he does this shit. Like, he yeah, he shakes. His yeah. hand. I don't think he shakes his fucking face. But... Well, he has epilepsy. Oh. Yeah. So he gotcha. has a bunch of seizures and shit. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I've gotten? There's no light. It's stupid. What? The weekend. Oh, really? You do kind of look like him. <laughs> you, you, what? What'd you say? They, they told, told me you the weekend. For... You look like the weekend. Yeah. Do, who, they, they, were they blind? I, I don't know. I, f- I would think so. I, no, was I, like, don't think, I don't think. No, no, no. no. You, you don't look, look like the weekend. You look like the fin de semana. <laughs> 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 Fucking crudo week de semana. I was over and shit. What are you, Latino or black? I'm Latino. What? Yeah, right now. Right? That's the curly hair, huh? Yeah, I thought you were black. I'm Afro-Mexican. Yeah. Wow, dude, you do kind of like the weekend, huh? <laughs> when you think about <laughs> it, the semana, huh? Sabo gigante. You, you kind of a little bit like you kind of give me Drake. You kind of look a little bit like Drake. Drake. Oh, oh yeah. this was starting. Oh. Well, next time I buy short hair, nice. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. Yeah, I'm off Drake vibes, dude. 
Bro, no, this was, <laughs> why do you get mad, fool? Why no, like, bro, damn, this fool? Was, like, this was like, like, you let me get some shot, dude. You got the rock, uh, Vin Diesel. You got the rock, dude. You got Vin Diesel with AIDS. You, 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 you got, got the T Rex thing. Come on. What happened? You said Vin Diesel with AIDS. I got AIDS now and shit. Vin Diesel has AIDS? I don't know. You said Vin Diesel with AIDS. We hear what we want to hear sometimes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. Oh, man. Uh, no, nah, he doesn't have age, I think. I don't think so. I mean, let's hope not. Yeah. But you do, uh, you got The Rock, man. That's like the, the biggest compliment. People, women love The Rock. Women love, guys love The Rock. I mean, you don't yeah. have that in common. Japan, yeah. Japanese ladies <laughs> love The Rock. Let's not go to Japan. Because <laughs> we, that was 2003 to 2005. It was a different time. Damn, they went a lot of times. A lot of massages. A lot of massages. I was there from 2003 to 2005. You were there. You were only supposed to be there for one night, right? (laughs) Then something happened that one night, which made you think, I should probably stay for two years. That explains that whole anime shit. I'm not even into anime. (laughs) Look at the little dog behind him. That's That's a fucking, that's That's Madam Madam Webb. I don't know. Madame. Madame. Uh, Madame. That was her name, the Japanese massage. <laughs> masseuse? I think that was, yeah. <laughs> Ma- Madame Webb, yeah. <laughs> she, <laughs> she did you the kind bunch of look Japanese over. a little bit, huh? Me? Yeah. Nah, no? Nah, definitely not. You don't, you're not Japanese? Nah. Okay, just making sure. Nah, nah. <laughs> no, I was gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm Chicano to the, to the bone. To the bone, dude. I'm Chicano too. Well, actually, no, I don't know if I am Chicano. It, mm-hmm. that, that's, that's interesting, you know, like, before it used to be freaking uh, Chicano used to be like a culture, right? Like yeah. it was uh, still a culture. No, no, no. What I'm trying to say. Let me finish my point. God damn. So it used to be like people, right? Mm-hmm. People that were born here that didn't know Spanish, most for the most part, right? Not, not necessarily. Not necessarily for the most part. I'm saying, right? Not necessarily. Okay. For, well, fine. Don't, don't, okay. Well, I'm, I'm giving, let me give my opinion on this. Okay. So let me let me let me change it. Okay. So I'm just giving yeah, my opinion. Culturally so right, fool. What people interpret used to be you know, that okay right okay but i think now it's changing to more like a social culture like a style yeah. like like music low writers uh yeah. things like that i think it's transcended a group of people and now it's more of like you're saying it's more mainstream that's what you're no, saying. no 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 i think I'm saying, for example japanese people they, they go with the chicano style they're into the low writer scene they're into like the music and things like that, but they're not Chicano. But of course not. But they're into the Chicano like culture. Yeah, but they won't consider them. They won't consider themselves Chicano per se. They're Chicano style. But that's what you I'm know? saying. It's transcended. I think now, like when you see that, it's not that anymore. Just in general. Yeah, when I think about Chicano, I think about the lowriders. Of course, like, uh, the ODs, the style of clothing, um, which I don't really identify with. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm more of a paisa. I identify with paisa a lot more. Like for people from the rancho, with the tanas, yeah. uh, with the botas, the fucking riding horses and shit. That's what I identify with. You know what I mean? Yeah. So if people ask me, like, are you Chicano? I used to be like, oh, well, I don't think so. But now I feel like, I don't know. Nah, I'm not sure. I'm a, I'm a paisa fool, dude. I fuck with that shit. Yeah. I mean, I listen to paisa music too. Yeah. Same. I mean, I could identify paisa, you know, because we grew up in that same genre. Yeah. Pero yo me considero Chicano because, like, I do love chicano rap i love yeah. the low rider culture you know like the <laughs> the in a sense the cholito style you know what i'm saying yeah so there is an essence to it and i still think there is a chicano culture because it because it's no, deep yeah. rooted in la yeah, like, you, so you could look at it and, and still find chicanos but i think that needs to change too the the, the negative connotation that chicano means cholillo style too cholillo style does not mean negative yeah well, See, you did you, you made it negative. No, but I'm saying a lot of people interpret that. Like, they see someone, what's the first thing you think of, right? Like, when you see someone with fucking solos or dickies, creased solos, up. Nobody wears solos. Well, I know, they don't exist. Dickies all creased up and shit. You know, you think cholo, right? Yeah, yeah. but the word cholo, you're making it a negative connotation. Cholos doesn't mean that you're you're bad. You could be in a gang without looking cholo. You could be well, in a gang. Well, I mean, we're a music band, yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> you, I mean, you're no. Like, you could be in a gang or something. No, I do agree. Like, Chola does have a negative connotation, negative yeah. meaning to it. Yeah. Because they just assume, like, they see the way you dress, you're probably out there causing trouble. Yeah. Tagging the city. Or you're fucking doing some, you're doing drugs or some shit. And I don't know how that's going to change, though. I think it's just going to be, I don't know how you change the connotation of how people view a Cholo. Especially people from other, other, I don't know, because, like, everywhere you go, like, you see a Cholo, 
it's kind of like it's always like oh there's doing something shady there's doing something shady you know and people might dress like that but have told completely different intent to just like i just exactly. love music i just love dressing like this, this yeah. is my people i grew up in this culture and it means something different than those people that are just trying to fucking do some dumb shit dude. well, well exactly. i always said i always said and, and i'll take it back to the marine corps right in japan <laughs> They used to always say, right? They used to always say, "You love Japan, dude." No, no, no. Marine Corps period. Uh, they used to always say that if you're a Marine, you're 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 legit. You're done. You know, you 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 walk a straight line. No, just like anything else, you always got ten percent, ten percent of fuck ups, ten percent of people that are doing the bad thing. Oh, yeah. And it's the same mm-hmm. thing in whether it's the cholo community, the biker community, the fucking I don't know whatever other fucking cultural settings are out there, right? Yeah. There's always bad people. You know, you're gonna have bad apples that make that culture look bad. Whether whatever the fuck it is. Anything, yeah. Rockers. I mean, it doesn't matter. Emo, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, unfortunately, those are the ones that get the spotlight and that's why the fuck sure. people think that that's why that's that is. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, but that's why I feel like it's more of a cultural thing now. Like even like you said, it's a thing about of our environment, you know? Yeah. Like people you go to here dress a lot different than they do like in MacArthur Park. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you go to Texas, like, or the deep south somewhere, y'all know that they're going to be, like, dressing like, you know, like. Yeah, yeah, but, but it goes back to paisas. If you dress like a paisa with the boots and the fucking cintos and then cowboy hats, oh, is it narco? Not no more. Mm. Uh, no more. They that, could. Not, mean, no. Now you got to have, like, the Gucci shirt with the, the bag okay. coming across your chest. Ooh, and, yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I like that. Yeah, you know, like the matching but, but I'm outfit. If, if you wear that, are you a narco? More well, probably, what, might, yeah, especially party. with narcos, Mexico, or just narcos, the show. Oh, people might be thinking like, okay, these foods are narcos. They dress like that, dude. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So it just goes with any culture. I got sorry, I defend Chicanos a lot. So no, dude. Oh, okay. Some people don't like to be because nobody's Chicanos. attacking anybody. No, I know, yeah. I know. But I'm saying like Chicano, like to me, like some people don't like to be considered Chicanos. Some people like Latinos. You know what yeah. I am glad though that the uh, misconception of the whole Chicano thing has changed a lot because before, like being paisa or being Mexican. They used to hate Chicanos because they felt like Chicanos were ashamed of being Mexican, mm. but not anymore. I feel like that's changed a lot. Yeah. Like, that's changed completely. Like, remember, you used to see, like, oh, we used to say, well, the, the police officers that are Chicanos, that hate our culture, yeah, you know, like, yeah. they hate us. Yeah. I think that's changed a lot, which that's is true. good. It, 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 you know, I'm going to be honest. It, like, growing up, I consider myself Chicano, right? Yeah. My parents are from Mexico. They're from Michoacan. Straight up from Michoacan. Yeah. Um, I get what you're saying, and it's just like last night. I was at, at, at like I said, I was at Buffalo Wild Wings watching the fight. Yeah, and there was a a widow behind me. Obviously, he don't know me. Yeah, he don't know shit about me. He, he just that? he's a Mexican. Is that the Rock? <laughs> 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 no, so I was going for Alexa Grasso, right? Because she's Mexican. She's from Guadalajara. And mind you, like this bato don't know nothing about me. He don't know I was in the military. I don't know if he was. I don't know shit about him. And I remember I was telling him, I was like, yeah, hell yeah, I'm going for the Mexican. Yeah. And he was good looking at me weird, like like if I was an outsider or whatever the fuck. And then when I told him, look, I'm going, I'm Mexican-American because I'm proud of being Mexican and American. Yeah. Like, I got to embrace the American culture, too. You can't say no, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We live in America. Yeah. I would never want to live in Mexico like for, for life, you know, because it's a different lifestyle. Yeah. So I told him, I was like, I'm Mexican-American, and I served, I served my country. For eight years, and he looked at me and said, like, "Oh, you were in the military." I was like, "Yeah." He's like, "Thank you for your service." And then I told him, I "Was like, but I gotta embrace my Mexican culture. She's Mexican, and she's she's you know I'm, I'm not gonna go for the Russian chick. I want yeah. the Mexican my Mexican people to fucking win, especially because we're at war with Russia." You know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, this is just like I said. It, it, you're right. For a long time, it was if you're Chicano, you're against paisas, and if you're paisa. You hate the Chicanos because they the, think you're against them. At that time, I think it was like that because they weren't being accepted by, like I've said sometimes, like I, uh, there's been situations where I don't feel fully accepted with Mexicans and I don't mm-hmm. feel fully accepted with Americans. Mm-hmm. Like I'm stuck in the middle. You know what I mean? I'm Mexican-American. Now I've learned to appreciate. Well, you can't, Dick. You look like Drake, so you <laughs> fucking. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm stuck in the middle, you know? Yeah. Like, so it's like, now, like, I learn to embrace it. I, like, I love my culture. That, yeah, that, that's how I Fusion. feel, too. For a while, I was like, uh, I was like, I'm not the most Mexican dude. That, like, I don't really, I didn't grow up with this. I grew up listening to, like, Chalino and all that stuff, like, the music, but the, the stuff that I, like, really uh, became passionate about, like, even in terms of music or culture, is like all kind of primarily black culture, like the music, like jazz, blues, soul, all oh, that yeah. stuff. Oh, yeah. That's stuff that I really identify with. And uh, that's something that I consumed 
for a long ass time, right? Yeah. So I would just feel like people would talk about like these Mexican artists and Chicanos and all that music, and I always felt like, man, I'm I don't really listen to that kind of stuff. I don't really I'm not really I didn't grow up around that. And then I always saw that paisa was like a bad like a bad term growing up for some reason. I thought like if someone's calling you paisa, they were calling you like dirty, yeah, or they're putting you down or some shit. And then my dad would call his friends paisa, and I felt like oh, it's only like a good word. When they use it, because when someone tells, calls them a paisa, it's like putting them down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But as I got older and started like experiencing different cultures and different types of like uh, people, I just felt like I just and there's more access to like the internet and whatever. I just started, I don't know, I just more pride in in who I am and my roots and like even like when you see Alexa Grasso, like somebody like it feels nice to see someone from the motherland, like yeah. Jalisco, Guadalajara, mm-hmm. yeah. where my mom's from someone from there like do something as amazing as become a ufc champion because yeah, like exactly. for the most part it was uh dominated by like brazilians brazilians and, and then like the, for a while there was a lot of americans and african-americans and that's amazing ufc has always been a sport that's like different cultures different parts of the world which is why i love it so much yeah. but still like the mexicans weren't really like doing much no. you know there was like one or there I mean, here. Cain Velasquez Cain Velasquez. One of the, like, he's my favorite but but he's mexican-american mm-hmm. which i'm mean, still amazing but yeah, like yeah. someone born like brandon moreno, brandon moreno. from uh, yep. tijuana yeah um, yeah 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 rodriguez yeah, 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 yeah. rodriguez um and then now alexa grasso from jalisco like seeing people from like from mexico born there accomplish their dreams and doing all their training out there yeah um starting from there it's like it's amazing to see and there's like a sense of pride yeah. you know what i mean when you see someone like overcome all these obstacles and it just reminds you of my mom you know my mom obviously an immigrant seeing what she's done and i think like i don't, I don't tell them this but i feel like my parents are like superheroes you know for them to do what they did uh would i it, it Everybody knows like they're immigrants and what they do, like they came from this country, yada, yada, yada. But like when you really stop and think about it, like you didn't know, you didn't, third grade education, you had no education basically, right? Yeah. You come, you you cross the border, you have, you don't know anybody, you know, you don't know the language, you don't know who to talk to, you don't know anybody. How the fuck do you get started? Yeah. When you come yeah. to America, like what the fuck did you do? You just, what do you do? Like, how do you even get a job? Like there's even like, like uh, selling flowers that like, they I see a lot of, yeah. like, how do you even get that job? I don't fucking know, dude. How do you get any job? Like, how do you get started? It's like so many unknowns that I have. It's like, and I from this country, and I have all these like uh, these uh, what's it called? Uh, these uh, what am I? What's the word I'm looking for? I have access to a bunch of knowledge, basically. I yeah, still yeah. don't know how to how to do what they did. Uh, I don't know how if I could even do it, you know. And then I was talking about Gerard the other day. We we're talking about our dads and like how our dad. My dad was like pretty intense growing up. Like he was a very angry dude. But now as I got older, I'm like, how, why am I holding on to all this like anger and shit? You know, when like you mm-hmm. you came from uh, uh, Culiacan, Sinaloa, you know, you were in that horrible town, uh, uh, in the rancho, it's some poor ass place overcome by drugs and crime. You came over here, you did your thing, you fucking worked your ass off, fucking with no knowledge of anything nobody you did all these incredible things you overcame every obstacle you saw horrible shit in Culiacan, and then you still fucking provided for your family and then people that co- that are in this country can't even do that yeah. people that are, are born here uh they got the other ha- they got the upper end they know english they know people they know it. E- e- they have access to everything they can't even fucking do what our parents immigrant parents did yeah. so it's just fucking inspiring dude and I haven't told my dad that, but he's like a fuck. He's like my superhero, dude. He's a fucking yeah. incredible ass dude. So now that I'm older, I'm like, why am I holding on to all this judgment when, when it's a dude? Yeah, you were a little too angry sometimes, you were a little aggressive sometimes. But like, how, how can I expect you to be this fucking perfect dude when you overcame so much and you saw such awful shit that I never had to see? You yeah, know yeah. what I mean? Why do I, why why should I expect you to be like, oh, you weren't nice to me. You need to listen to me. This say, like, dude, you already did so much. I should fucking just forgive you. You know, I should for you. You did fucking, you overcame all the odds and you didn't come out perfect, but who's fucking perfect? You know what I mean? That's just my rant for the day. Well, that's well, that's, that's, uh, I thought there's yeah. words of wisdom ahead of time. Yeah. yeah. No, and, and you're absolutely right. right. <laughs> One of the biggest things being, you know, just children of, of immigrant parents is that, like, like you said, they don't have this education. They don't have, Dude, when I go to another fucking state, I feel fucking lost. I know. Dude. I feel like I don't know what the fuck, where, where am I going to go? You know, going to another country, you know, yeah. like, damn, imagine that shit. Yeah. Like, when I go to Mexico, I feel like, fuck, like, what am, you know, like, I need to find a way to navigate. Yeah. So you're you're absolutely right. And unfortunately, we, 
they've experienced a lot more and we haven't and there's generational trauma that they've experienced yeah. and they just don't realize it and then we get passed on and we hold on to it we have this tendency to try to hold on to yeah. it yeah and and we shouldn't do that like you know i lost my dad yeah like i had this grudge towards till the end almost and finally I, you know like you said i was like you know what like i forgive you like yeah it's not we all have our our you know like issues and traumas and things and you know just yeah we just gotta not be petty and, yeah and get over it yeah because like especially rich like I, I would look at him and he's older now so i see him i'm like dude like you're you're an older man like why am i gonna be like nah fuck it when you know when like 10 years ago 15 years ago, you didn't listen to me you were being mean to me yada, yada. i said dude like it's it's just good for all parties i feel yeah. like for me especially being in the sun like dude this anger resentment is getting in the way of you developing a meaningful relationship with my father my you know with my with my dad so i just need i just need to let it go you know because yeah people hold on to it and like people will keep on will hold on to that trauma and then they'll just blame their parents and it's just like dude you're asking for an unrealistic amount of a for a, a person to go you you know what they went through you know why they are the way they are and yeah that doesn't give an excuse but it should give you uh it should give you like a reason to try to understand their position or why they are the way they are you can't be like oh they're fucking asshole they, they treat me like this like they wouldn't understand why perspective Pers yeah 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 shift your perspective a little bit you know try to put yourself in their situation you're an asshole and you fucking had a blessed life you know what i mean yeah why the fuck are you an asshole <laughs> the fuck on my fucking face you know, what I mean? <laughs> you know you're an asshole and you fucking had a great life no one's life is perfect but you're from this country you have all, all these fucking opportunities and you're an asshole your your parents are probably better people than you you know they overcame so much more and they're still fucking developed to be these hard-working amazing people and yeah they're not perfect nobody's perfect man yeah i'm just fucking you're right perfect. you know what i mean see he, he gets deep too <laughs> <laughs> i have one thing for uh well, actually, no, go ahead, guys. I, was about to say, <laughs> I want to transition to something uh, less serious, but I don't know if it's the appropriate time. Well, uh, we'll get into that. I just want to say one thing. You know what? You know what's crazy now? We're talking about like Mexican American and all that. How I don't, I still don't understand how people like can hate people from Mexico or, or from countries like that where they yeah. immigrate and they work so hard and shit. Yeah. And then we're country like we we're talking about earlier, Mexico, it's free. You know, you have this freedom. Yeah. And isn't this country all about freedoms and shit? Not, not for regulated right. freedoms. Yeah, regulated. Yeah. Freedoms. It, it just makes you think, like, fuck, like we're hating all these people that have this freedom and shit, and then we're like we get over here and fucking talking shit about it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. We don't yeah. know what real freedom is. Some mm. people, I don't know, especially in other parts of the country, they're just like do not like other races, man. Yeah. Especially in the South, man. Yeah. yeah. It's like in Idaho, and like I went to Idaho and like in Louisiana. Louisiana is a little different because they have a lot of, it's like a lot of black suit african americans yeah. um but some parts of the country where it's just mostly white it just Alabama. it's just weird how they just look at you you know what i mean they're yeah. kind of like shocked that you're even there you yeah. know i was in wyoming i was in the restaurant i was the only mexican there i was there by myself and it's not dramatic but you can kind of feel like everybody's like you feel what? the stairs yeah what the Are fuck you clean boy <laughs> <laughs> I, I, i've been to like wisconsin or like small little cities in wisconsin for for work in the midwest yeah and it's it's the same thing yeah like milwaukee is cool because there's like it's multicultural there's Mexicans, there's yeah. African Americans, just everything, right? But once you go like start driving up towards the Green Bay area, there's like these little towns and shit. Yeah. All the little towns where the murders on Netflix are on and shit. All the good so, shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they start looking at you, you stop in here, and they're like, "What the fuck?" Like, that's ooh. why I'm glad I live in LA, dude. Oh yeah. You, yeah. You're just supposed to every. You see everybody, everything, everything. So you're not really surprised when you go to another spot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Another part of the country, you'd be like, you're so accepting of other people. There's still racist people here, but you're exposed to everybody. You'll go to school. You have friends and like. Maybe some some parts of the some schools it's like mostly Mexican, mostly black, mostly white. But as you navigate through life, you you'll meet all races, yeah. most races. You know what I mean? So it's a, it's a it's a huge blessing. And we embrace their cultures. We have yeah. like you go probably you go to like I don't know somewhere in the south they don't probably celebrate Cinco de Mayo here. Everybody does. It doesn't matter what you no, are no, fucking Cinco. Are. Cinco. <laughs> Cinco. Don't celebrate Cinco de Mayo. Yeah. 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 St. Patrick's Day. We're all fucking wearing green. By the way, St. Patrick's Day is coming up. Yeah. yeah. So we're nice. going. We're going, I'm going off St. Patrick's Day. That's some fun. When is, when is uh, you St. Know, Patrick's Day? 17. Dog, I just saw something else, fool. What? what? 
Vin Diesel, The Rock, and now I see the Leprechaun. Oh! <laughs> hey, can you do a Leprechaun sound? No. 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 Damn, dog. <laughs> St. Patty's Day, dog. You know what I'm saying? Gotta throw I love St. Patty's Day, man. <laughs> I green never beer. Though. I never had a fucking green beer. I need to get one of this. Yeah, this looks nasty. What is it? It's just, food it's just regular beer, just food coloring. Yeah. <sighs> Stupid. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Anyways, like, we've had this long yeah. time. You want to jump into our no manches? Yeah, I mean, start it off. Shit, I got to go back to this. Got to what? I got to. Yes. I started with our fucking whole thing, our no manches segment with this thing. Now I have to go back to it. Now I'm talking to all the fellas out there. Guys, like you, for real, you guys watching this shit. Don't be fucking dirty. Public restrooms, dog. Come on. Ooh. Like, how the fuck do you throw toilet paper two feet from the toilet? Like, stop being fucking dirty. You know, yeah. we all use the restroom. We all go take pisses. Urinals overflow, like overflowing with toilet paper. How the fuck do you get the toilet paper from the stalls? Come out yeah. and want to be like, let me throw it in the fucking urinal. Guys, come on, dog. Like, this for real. big old turd flying, dude. I already started this acronym, dog. What do you like, expect? I'm going to start like this organization called Prey. Public it's restrooms are important. <laughs> 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 what do you expect from root dogs, fool? Oh, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not even talking about just root dogs, oh, fool. I'm yeah, just talking yeah. about in general, dog. Like, come on. People are dirty, bro. Like, <laughs> or flush, fool. Like, step on the fucking thing. I don't know, fool. Like, damn. Like, damn. I really took a fucking... shit in the urinal, man. On the urinal. <laughs> <way to piss. laughs> it's yeah. People like that. Yeah, it's like, it's, I'm just looking at him, shit. I was like, there's no need for this, brother. Why are you taking a shit in a urinal? Was there a line or some shit? And then he couldn't go? I mean, he uh, couldn't... I think he was just... Uh... Drunk? No, nah, he wasn't even drunk. He wasn't drinking at the time. I think he just wanted to be funny. But it's like, you're looking at this, and you're like, bro, you're taking a shit in a urinal. This is disturbing. Yeah. And that shit was big. He thought it was a bidet. Because, you know, the water oh, comes yeah. out. Oh, that's a Japanese yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, it's all the time. Yo, bidet. Yo, bidet. Yo, bidet. Fuck that. It squirts a little water in your ass. Yeah, 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 yeah. And a little tongue comes out. Little plastic <laughs> tongue goes like this. You can, <laughs> you can change the intensity of like, the squirt. I ever use one, and you only have it at high. <laughs> one setting. Like, full pressure. It's, bro, yeah, it's broken. It's only uh, <laughs> full pressure. extreme pressure. <laughs> but but my no matches is not that fucking crazy as yours. Yeah. I don't know how many fucking public public bathroom bathrooms you go to. Wait, but you go, you're right, fool. Yeah, he was fucking. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Uber drivers. I'm gonna go with Uber drivers after this. You're gonna what? Uber drivers. Okay. So fucking Friday, I had to wait for my Uber driver. This we went to the casino. Me and this fool, and he wanted to fucking continue to stay. And I'm like, man, fuck this. I, I want to go home. I'm fucking tired. So tell him, fool, I'm gonna take an Uber driver. I called. They fucking, I'm, I'm outside, I'm outside fucking freezing, fool. It's like 1.30 in the morning. Yeah. I'm freezing. And I could tell he was taking the wrong route because the casino, there's two ways to go. You either go up in, in Yamaba. Yeah. You either go down up to fucking uh, where the parking structures are at. Yeah. Or you go to valet. And I put notes and knowing this shit was going to happen. I put notes, hey, I'm going to go to valet. Hey, this, hey, that. Fool. That fool dropped me. He what? dropped me. And I was like, like, he didn't even fucking pick me up. Yeah, I guess he was looking for me. Yeah. And he just let me there. And I, I called him. I know what it was. Well, what? Because uh, on your picture, you look like The Rock. And when, <laughs> and when, he, and when he pulled up, he saw you were... <laughs> picture of my he, he, When he pulled up, he saw 5'7". He's like, nah, The Rock's 6'4". Nah, this thing. He's saying, yeah, yeah, he's, this he's, saying drop it. This not here. Killer, Someone's he's choking with me. He probably drove by, saw you laying an egg. He was like, what the fuck is what this? What the fuck does that matter if I already paid for the Uber? You're going to have to clean up and shit the egg. I know, dude. Come on, dude. Nah, yeah, you're right. If You already paid for the Uber? Yeah. How much was it? Like 15 bucks. But they oh, refund you when they drop you. Then yeah. You don't get charged. I don't know. The other day, fucking... You, but you know, this is where you fucked up. Why do you go outside if you can track him? If he's like fucking like 15 miles away, why are you outside tracking him? I don't know, because I thought he was going to pick up quick. And you're not watching him? I like, was a little buzzed. Like, I don't fucking know. Why do I fucking... So who's that real fault here? Ooh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> he's blame <laughs> shifting. <laughs> Oh, I'm just saying the perspective shifted perspective. Yeah, dude, we just talked about perspective, and I feel like you need. To I'm not very good at fucking looking at it from the outside. You know, yeah. things from the outside. I think you know that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fucking give me a box and like a little like fucking. a little hole. Just just. Just give me a little hole and give me some. Give me a oh, that's why I'm looking at it. Yeah, sure, sure. I'm about to bust, dude. <laughs> Let's see. I guess it's mine. No manches. Listen, I feel like the best Mexican food 
and people debate me about right, this. Here we go. I have people debate me all the time. The best Mexican food is located at Chipotle. And a lot of people disagree with me, right? Uh -huh. A lot of people say that's not authentic Mexican food. That's not great Mexican food. The food at Chipotle is better than your mom's cooking. Dude. Oh, don't say that. And don't don't like, offend me like everybody that. Everybody at Isimo believes that. Chipotle is better than your mom's food, dude. My tia, she she brags about her rice or chicken. I was like, lady, do you know how to do cilantro lime rice? And then she was like, ¿Qué? And I was like, that's what I'm fucking, that's what I'm fucking talking about. People don't know how to do cilantro lime rice. The cilantro lime rice at Chipotle is the best rice of all time. The pinto beans is the best. The chicken, the, the seasoning they put on the chicken is fucking incredible. The mouth, I've never seen pico de gallo as good as I see at fucking Chipotle. I've never seen guac. I've never tasted guac as good as the guac at fucking Chipotle. My tia makes guac, right? I ate that shit. I threw up. I fucking slapped in the fucking face. I was like, get the fuck away from me, right? <laughs> Slap that shit. Out of my fucking face. Where I don't is, talk to her anymore. She's where dead. is cilantro lime rice originated from? Where, if it's authentic, where where does it come from? Uh, Culiacan, Sinaloa. <laughs> <laughs> and I've researched that. I knew, I, I knew, people ask me that question all the time. They're like, bro, what is, what is, is it, white? I was like, oh, white. <laughs> Culiacan, Sinaloa, wait. <laughs> is that white? And they're like, whoa, I didn't know. <laughs> right? They're, they're, any question, they're, Sinaloa, they're, 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 they're judging it off the complexion of the rice. Just because it's white doesn't mean it's not yeah, Mexican. that's fucking racist, that's dude. Mm -hmm. Are you saying you're racist? No. Are you, yeah, I, just wanted, I just wanted to verify the authenticity. It's Mexican-American, homie. You yeah. got the cilantro, the Mexican, and it's white. I know, but where? It's who? Chicano, dog. <laughs> Brown rice is... Fucking cilantro lime brown rice is Chicano as fuck, dude. Damn. And the white rice is paisa. Sometimes I go to Chipotle and I can have the paisa rice. She's like, for sure, dude. No, give me the Chicano <laughs> rice. They're like, all right, brown rice. Do you ever mix them? Huh? Do you ever mix them? All the time, baby. All the fucking time. I love Chicanos and paisas, fool. I want to eat both of them, dude. Give me both of them, dude. I fucking love that <laughs> shit, dude. You don't get that anywhere else. If you ask your mom, hey, give me some paisa rice. She'd be like, kiss ass away. Get the fuck out of my fucking face, stupid. Get the fuck out of my fucking face. I don't know what's up with you guys. That Why, why is it that you guys are off in the East and we're fucking Chipotle is like your guys' thing? Yeah, right? Chipotle junkies. Right. It, it's, it's right. Wait, for, for Gerardo, it was the, the, the experience. His whole life that oh, yeah. experience. It's not the food for you, right? It, uh, it's not. It is it, absolutely it's, the fucking food, dude. Here we go. The, the only th thing good is the barbacoa. I will say barbacoa. <laughs> the barbacoa is bomb. <laughs> 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 when I start, uh, that's how you know I'm, I'm very upset when I do my Robert De Niro face. <laughs> Robert De Niro face. <laughs> Both rice. Give me the paisa rice. Give me the Chicano rice. Give me pinto beans. Give me chicken. Give me mild, medium. Uh, give me cheese. Give me a side tortilla. Give me some chips. Give me a water cup that I fill up with Diet Coke. That's the best bowl. And then That's you, the best food. Dude. Uh, you didn't mention Pickle. black beans, so you don't like black beans? Oh, no, 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 no. The black beans are not good. Trust, <laughs> I used to work there, so I know how they make their shit. Black beans, go. Go to pinto beans. Also... You get a Chipotle Tabasco, you splash oh, it on good. the bowl, greatest Mexican food so, of all time. Let me ask you this, since yes. you work there too. Question of all time for Chipotle. Why can't they fucking wrap a burrito right? <laughs> because y'all asking for too fucking much, dog. <laughs> asking for way too fucking much, bro. We know, when I worked at Chipotle, I always tell people, don't get a burrito, you fucking dumbass bitch. Don't get a burrito. Get a fucking bowl of tortilla on the side. And they're always like, no, I want to get a burrito. I'm like, okay. And then they get rice. They get double rice. They get double pinto beans. They get fucking chicken. And then by the time it's already ripping, then they want salsa. They want sour cream. They want all these fucking juices. and start squirting out, right? Start squirting out like it's a fucking dick and shit, dude. And then you can't even wrap it because it's too fucking big, dude. So you tell them, get a bowl, get a tortilla on the side, dude. Right? And also, Gerardo is right. It's about the experience, dude. And people like to Uber eat Chipotle. When we, we always tell people, do not order Chipotle through Uber Eats or Postmates. You got to go there. You got to wait in line. You got to, they always have great music. It's always a little cold, a little chilly, right? You get spiced up from like the, the hot sauce is pretty hot. You get spiced up, but then you, you just chill, relax. And the cool breeze of Chipotle, it's always like 65 degrees. They have the temperature down, dude. I go to a Mexican restaurant. There's like a fucking fly. There's a fucking bug, dude. Uh, it's the stuff. Rancho dude. life, homie. Rancho life, right? Rancho life. <laughs> Chipotle has more authentic rancho life vibes. No, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, I'm gonna yes, be like, hey, yes, nah. dude. And their guac is incredible, dude. Their guac is amazing. That's why it's so fucking expensive, That's dude. What I'm and their chips are great, dude. And also, they play good music. And also, I, I tell people, get the water. Don't get it. I'm trying to help people out. Get the water cup. Fill it up with diet coke. It's so much better than paying for the diet coke with the with the regular cup. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Well, there you go. I don't know. I, I, 
I like Chipotle, but yeah, I don't know I, I'm not like, like 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 that. You know what I'm saying? No. I don't what? take it to that extreme. I'll eat it like once a month, maybe <laughs> if that. What? Yeah. It's not once bad. A... It's good. No, it's I, didn't say it was... I didn't say it was bad. I just said, you know, it's amazing. Yeah. You know what's funny? One time, one of my cousins, you know, it's not authentic. This is how you know it's not authentic. Oh, okay. I'm with my, my, my cousin, I took him to Chipotle. You know, he's from Mexico. He's a little bigger. And he loves food. Yeah. Right? He, when he comes to, to the U.S., spots he has to go. He has to go in and out. He has to go to some small little burger joint in L.A. Yeah. For the chicken dinners. You know how, like, they, yeah, yeah, shit yeah. like that. He has to get Pizza Co. Because Pizza Co is one of his, oh, you know, I just. Pizza Co. I don't know. I like Red Devil. But yeah, he goes so. Pizza Co. And then I took him to Chipotle one time. You know what he said? Estaba bueno, pero como que, como que le faltó grasa. Oh, my God. That's yeah, when you know it's not well, authentic. It's yeah. That's how you lose a leg. And that's why it's not authentic. That's how you get diabetes. Okay? <laughs> that's why it's not authentic. The wheelchair for the rest of life. Then why the fuck he wants more oil on his fucking food? It's how, hey. This is probably good for you. <laughs> Less grease is probably good for you. That's what I said. That's, okay. that's what I said. Jesus but Christ. it just shows it's not authentic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It just shows that some people don't care about their health or their future. Right? Right? If I had a friend who was like, it needs more grease. I was like, you need both your legs. Okay? <laughs> if you want greasier food, you're going to lose a fucking leg or two. That's called diabetes. High blood pressure. You know what I mean? In the Latino community, high blood pressure is a real thing. Yeah. My mom has it. Yeah. My dad has it. I don't think I have it. I probably do. Right. I'm drinking a little too many Diet Cokes. <laughs> I don't know if this gives you high blood pressure, but I feel like it does. Okay. I abuse it. And if it doesn't, that Celsius does. I mean, even though it doesn't have sugar. <laughs> you already disrespected Chipotle. <laughs> <laughs> don't disrespect Celsius. <laughs> well, I, I, I drink those shits yeah, too. Pretty so good. Good. Yeah, pretty good. I don't fuck with that. I used to work at Chipotle. Right? We put just enough grease. Or you can give a, you give a little spice. Nothing more. Why do you want more? We care about the people. That's why everything is clean. Chicken's clean. Steak is clean. Everything non-GMO. Everything's authentic. Straight from the fucking motherland. Straight from the mother. The chicken is clean, but it has that evil on it. Shit. What was that thing that it had what? a couple years ago? No, no, that was a, that was a lettuce. Oh, that was, was E. coli. E. coli. Yeah, e. coli. but the chicken, something has something. The chicken was, something I was wrong the with the chicken. I think one, uh, the chicken had like... Uh, I don't know, look at the fl- had too much flavor or something. It was, too good. <laughs> it was too good. That's what somebody said. They wrote an article about it. And I was like, it's way too good. I was like, oh my God, that's ridiculous. <laughs> all the complaints about Chipotle have all, have all been positive. You ever notice that? Except for the E. coli thing. <laughs> that was a whole country thing. All the complaints about Chipotle, it's like, oh, it's way too good. I'm like, oh my God, is that a bad thing or something? All <laughs> oh, the chicken's too cooked too good. It's like, <laughs> the chef, whatever. Who's the chef, Joel? <laughs> he's, he's too good at his job. <laughs> it's all good stuff. You know what I mean? You go to a Mexican restaurant, there's a bunch of problems. Yeah. Like King Taco, the speaker's never working. You guys about that? You, <laughs> you can't, that? You can't uh, understand the fucking uh, <laughs> like, What the fuck did you say? You know what I mean? You never know when your order's ready. And by the time you go, it's been sitting there for like 40 minutes. Chipotle, you don't got to worry about nah, that. Hey, okay, some guy works at King Taco, right? Do the King Taco thing that you do. That's why you fucked up. So, see, see that's what you need, your mic. mic. You a mic. We have it, but you just never used it, so. Yeah. Should be like, yeah, I like it too. <laughs> I, like it. I like when you shout at me, dude. You ready to move on, Mike, to the yeah. words of wisdom? Words of wisdom. Um, this is where you get the spotlight. I know you've already said some stuff that was pretty deep, but this is where you get to basically tell people that follow us, people that follow you, or people that are out there, what's something that you live by. You know what I mean? That's oh, something that they could use in their lives. What a dude. This is where you got the spotlight because it's been on the rock, Vin Diesel. The no, no, no. This is all you. We don't, we, don't do, we don't say our words of wisdom. This is all you. Words of wisdom, man. See, I think I've already said it, but I'll just say it again, man. Listen, as a male, as a Latino male, I didn't always live by this, but just forgive your parents, man. Forgive your parents. Let it go. Unless, you know, they did some crazy shit like they killed you or something. They stabbed you when you were younger. Maybe don't forget that. Maybe don't forgive that. But for the most part, listen, yes, our parents had a lot of trauma and they didn't didn't raise us how we feel they could have been the best. But they already did the impossible coming here, like I said, without knowing anything. They did the impossible. Who are we to be like, oh, you still didn't do enough by raising me properly. Perfect. We got to let that go. We got to forgive our fucking parents, especially as men. We hold on to this, uh, this uh, just like this trauma. When we're younger with our with our fathers and we don't let it go and if we don't acknowledge it it's going to stay there for like all of our lives until it's too late you know what i mean until our parents get older and older man we just gotta 
forgive our parents and also forgive ourselves. Because me, I know for me, there was sometimes I act how the way I act when I was younger, because I was so hurt by my dad, I would lash out and then I know that would upset him the way I acted. And as I got older, I looked back at those times and I am mad at myself too for the way I acted with my dad because I wasn't happy uh, with him. And even that bugs me. And that would bother me. Like, man, also, why the fuck would I do that, dude? Why the fuck was I acting like that? So disrespectful. But also forgive yourself too, man. Like, you were a kid and you were going through it. But yeah, just forgive, forgive yourself and forgive your parents and just, just love them. <laughs> And also, Chipotle is the greatest Mexican food of all fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I agree. You know, like like I said, I had a lot of anger. My dad passed away, and it took that. Yeah. Like seeing him in the bed, you know, not being able to, like to be like, damn, like I held on to all this bullshit, you know. Yeah. Like and same thing with him. I know before he had a conversation with my mom. He didn't tell me either, but it's just we never had that conversation. Where it was like, you know, I forgave you, and he forgave me. You know what I mean? And that, so, that's that's. That's a good point, cause like my mom tells me, like, oh, who well, like my dad just wants to like have a like, be like connected with you, like be cool with you, um, or be t- closer to you, like you guys don't talk as much. This is before, and they should always be, they always get everything from my mom, and then it, yeah. it felt so weird. I was like, my dad's telling you this, yeah. like this these these soft things, like oh, I just want to love you and connect with you, be close to you. I was like, if my dad's telling you this, I could never picture my dad saying those words about me, you know. And it kind of made me emotional. I was like, oh wow, my dad, like the stuff that I would say about my dad, like man, I fucking wish I was cool with him, close to him. I was like, my dad would never say something like that. But the yeah. fact that he's like, oh, there's a gentle side of him, a loving, kind side that maybe was there and now is ready to show up, and but I'm not ready for it. I was like, no, I gotta, I gotta take advantage of it. You know what I mean? He's older, mm-hmm. he's softer, he's more maybe reflecting a little bit more. Like I need to yeah. focus on what's important. So yeah, my mom would be the one to tell me. I'd be like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta work on this. Yep. You know? I think, uh, I think with my dad it was the same thing. Yeah. You know. And I think I realized that he changed when I had my kids because mm. he was different to them. And I appreciate that because I felt like he was making up lost time for what me and him didn't have. And so, like, when my when my daughters were born, of course, but when my son was born, yeah. that's when I saw the biggest thing in him. Like, he would come around every fucking day. Yeah. Like, my son was and, – and I would say, like – my 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 siblings would be like, "Are you jealous?" I'm like, "Fuck no." Yeah, I'm. I appreciate because I feel like that's me again. Because mm. it, it, it technically is. Yeah. It's, it's, he's a part of me, my son. And I felt like, "Fuck yeah!" Like I didn't get this side of him. Yeah, which is cool. I'm already. I, I'm. I've come to terms, like you said. Yeah. Um, but it did take me a long time. You know, yeah. it, it trials, tribulations, and shit that I, I did that I I, I regret, and I'm sure. He's a lot. He did a lot of shit that I, I'm pretty sure he regrets. So yeah, our relationship is better now. So yeah, that's important, man. Because like I said, like these are broken men. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? From what they've experienced, they're broken, yeah. and they've still overcame so many obstacles and have, like I said, done the impossible and fucking came here. They're but they're broken, and they're still able to fucking work their ass off and raise a family. Like I said, not raise maybe the way we think now to be ideal, but the fact that. You know, they gave us a roof, or my dad gave me a roof, and I uh, always took care of me. I never had a, even when shit was like, we were poor, poor, I never, I always felt safe, even though like he was an angry dude. I felt safe, like no matter what happens, my dad's gonna, you know, yeah. fucking work his ass off, you know, and take care of us. So, like I said, just gotta forgive. Yeah. Yep. Hey, guys, remember Mother's Day's coming up, Father's Day's coming up, so this is a perfect time to start making up with them. Get them a good gift, fuck it. And it. Shout out to my dad. Rest in peace. I miss yeah. you. It's officially three years this past week. So, oh shit, I yeah. didn't realize yeah. that. Dog. Yeah. Um. Anyways, we're gonna move on. Uh, we want to say thank you for coming out on a Sunday. Yeah. Morning. I know sometimes it's kind of hard because some people like to sleep in. Yeah. I know sound guy was kind of mad at us. He's like, "Fuck the fuck, wanna sleep in?" No, I, said, I was mad. <laughs> so when you told me it was bro, I was like, I'm "Yeah, he did. He did. He did, he did say, I love this guy. <laughs> he did say he's like, "Fuck it, I'm in." I heard him scream one last time. Scream something. What the fuck, Joel? Oh, <laughs> oh dude. Um, dude. We're all fucking vulnerable, dude. Yeah. We're going to fuck after this, right? <laughs> no, no, I mean, no, you're no. on the casting, casting couch, so. Yeah, come up here, dude. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, want to say thank you again. And, yeah. Um, hopefully, you guys continue with your podcast and your success and everything that you want to do. 
Yeah. And if you ever shoot a, a feature film, let us know. You know, that'll be fucking dope. I'm well, gonna... we still want to get that documentary down, so. Yeah, I don't oh, know. Yeah, I'm also shooting. The... Oh, yeah, I forgot. I forgot to tell you. I'm working on a project. <laughs> it's about the life of The Rock. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to say Jurassic Ball and Park or something. <laughs> no, the... Oh, that could work, too. <laughs> but, uh, I want to shoot a movie about The Rock when he was, like, 5 to 15 years old. I want you to play him. Guys, <laughs> make, make sure you follow him yeah. at the AC Mo Pod and also at his personal page. Yeah. You want to tell him where that is? Uh, Joe Brandano. That's my personal page. Follow us on AC Mo Pod. Uh, also, we're on Twitch, twitch.tv slash AC World. We fucking play. We fucking do virtual meet and greets. It's fucking amazing. Follow us on Twitch, on Instagram, AC Mo Pod, uh, TikTok as well. Fucking thank you guys. All hey, right. guys. And you could find them if you could search for some clips on Pornhub. So, mm. anyways, see you guys. <laughs> All right, that's a weird way. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you guys. Appreciate Thanks. It.